I started recording now. I'm secure. But this podcast is still brought to you by the letter S. Letter First. S. For smegma. <laughs> What's another good S word? S- uh, supple? <laughs> That's another word that makes everyone awkward. <laughs> supple. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to think what else. Um, succulent? Yeah, succulent's <laughs> kind of a little weird. Uh, sausage. Sausage. <laughs> succulent smegma sausage. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, triple S, just like Devil May Cry, huh? Yeah. That's <laughs> how we grade our shit. Triple S has got to get the smegma and the sausage and the succulent supple shit all over this place. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Awesome. So how's lie. it going, I'm, Kelly? I'm not, Semen. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm I'm a little stoned. I, I digress, <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Go on, guys. I just having a good time. Having a good time. Have a good time, James. Thank you. <laughs> so what's good? What's good, everyone? We're having uh, a good time tonight. I've I know I haven't been on. Welcome. Like, I've. I've I've fallen off the world. Welcome to 2013. And oh, yeah. yeah, is this our first? This, this is our first of the year, and this is. it's the fuck. I my life is going awesome. Mark it off my calendar here, that I stole, as usual. <laughs> well, well, well. You, where do you check your? your uh, well, I just I just inputted fake information on this website. Oh, nice. Kinda not, What's the site? It's kind of not that. jacking. It's a Life Technologies. Life they, Technologies? They were like, are you in the industry? Yes, I am. Today's podcast is brought to you by Life Industries. <laughs> technologies. Dude. Life Technologies. <laughs> Fuck. I'm stoned, dude. Just, you know? Fuck. It's okay. We got is one. it Life Industries? Does it wait technologies? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Oh. Kelly. Life tech? Yes. What the fuck is up? What the fuck is up, fool? Tell us. Tell us what's up. Um, not a whole lot. whole lot of nada. Tell us. Does Ezio really love? He totally does. <laughs> totally Leonardo? Does. Yeah. He totally loves Neo Leonardo. Yeah, he does. Okay, I still haven't played it. And, well, I've played well, a little bit of the first Kelly one. Can but... explain. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. It, it, the other way around. Leonardo oh, yeah, it is the other way around, yeah. Leonardo da Vinci is totally cr- crushing on Ezio. <laughs> why is that? And how is that? Oh, well, Kelly will well, explain. Well, <laughs> why? Because it's Ezio. Okay. I mean. Yeah, he's pretty badass. Yeah. That white hood. Mm. And, uh, um,. You can buy different colors of for, of for your assassin's garb, and oh, I got dope. got wow. the the black version, and it's super sleek and badass. I would get purple. Really, you Ooh. can really buy different color. Yeah, each city has a different set of colors. Wow. It's really cool. I'd really like like a midnight purple. Do they have midnight purple? Uh, probably. Probably not, but there's probably some robes that have purple in them. Is well, that a, like is they... that a deal breaker for you, James? A little bit. <laughs> but, man, <laughs> you know, got my purple. Fuck this. I don't even feel like killing today. <laughs> so, Kelly beat it's that game. Such, it's such been such a long time that I started and finished Assassin's Creed Two. God. And I feel, uh, Right? Because the first one took me, like, yeah. I was talking about it for, like, three weeks straight. <laughs> Kelly, um, uh, random question, I'm sorry. Yo, but, what? Um, have you been consistent in playing 999? I didn't start that. <laughs> I didn't start either. Like, I'm, my, I'm intimidated. My, like, all my friends are, like, trying to egg me on to play it. And they're both like, dude. If Kelly's gonna play it and you're gonna play it, you need to jump on it because if she plays it, she'll have a lot to talk about. Well, I don't have anything to say right now. All right, cool. Because I don't either. Max, you just played it. Awesome. No, let's 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 actually start it at the same time if you want. Start it right now. 
right we're now. just gonna we're just gonna put on postpone indefinitely I, yeah because uh Gerard <laughs> got me that for christmas too you got... Gerard hooked me up with so much shit during christmas this it's is, crazy this is what's gonna happen both of you are gonna play that game you guys know i have an xl now right yes we need to yeah, re-exchange right. friend codes and stuff. I tweeted you guys the photo of the friend code. I did not get that. Uh, I did, did I get that? Check Maybe. out. Go, just go on Twitter and check out your mentions. I will check it out. Oh, Twitter. But you guys will be the defining factor of will I play this game or not. If you guys, If both of you say yes, I'll play it. Mm. <laughs> if even one of you says Oh, I didn't enjoy it. I'm not playing it. Yeah, either <laughs> way, I'm guy. still gonna finish it. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> well, but if you yeah, didn't I'm just enjoy so busy it. playing so much uh, everything else. Kelly, oh. I noticed lately you've been playing a lot of Hotline Miami. Oh, I finished it. Ooh, oh nice. crap! So you proud did. of myself. How, Yo, how was dude. it? What, I heard what it was Matt? really hard. Dude, that well, okay. Did you finish it or did you really finish it? I really finished it. I haven't. I, ha- yeah. I haven't really finished it yet. I need to finish those last extras. No, you could end- do. No, I, I, I did the ending, the the first ending, and then I really finished it, like in that same sitting. It's it it it's made to just like fly through. You can do it in like twenty minutes. Yeah, I I died so much though, and uh, I, I think did. it was the second. Really. Yeah, too many, too many I, deaths. Just, that's why those yeah. so those gave me no problem, but the actual game was like, I, I don't tend to get angry while I'm playing games, but I, I you know, I just kind of get sort of zen. But yes. okay, cool. But during this game, I pounded on my desk. <laughs> Dude, like uh, I don't know uh, how I did it, but I found my zen in Super Meat Boy. That's awesome. And, that and there awesome. were times when I, I was like that. Like, I would die and be like, oh, okay, whatever. Now I know what to do. But, yeah. but like, there are times when there's one or two dudes left, and I'm just like, ah! <laughs> Dude, when I, when I got, like, the true ending you. on Super Meat Boy, like, that took me so long. Did you feel like a badass? Yeah, it took me three <laughs> hours, actually. That's badass time. Yeah, my hands hurt like a bitch, man. It was so bad. Kelly, I know exactly what you mean when there's only like one guy in left. In yeah, the back. yeah, you, and then you screw it up. Oh god! The, like with the last level of Super Meat Boy, fucking, what's it called? The they, it, you know, like the stage is like fucking at least six minutes long. You know, at the very least, brown six minutes You're long. Making me not want to play that game anymore. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you, you either no, I'm just you kidding. Either, I mean, you either put it down and you leave it down. Yeah, that's what I did. Damn it! Yeah, that's what <laughs> I did too. And you're that's right. How it goes. You're right. It was Max, like, you either, beat that game. You either what, put it down. You either you either pick it up and pick, and and keep playing, or when you put it down, you leave yeah, it down you, forever. Damn it! Oh, damn. sorry. Which, which game? Is it Super Meat Boy? Oh no, I still I'm on the last. I think I'm on the last world, and I'm like fucking I. Dude, I, I'm on the last world too. Well, the last depends on what your it. last world is. Because uh, uh, I'm on the real last world where it's Bandage Girl. Oh no, I'm not. I haven't made it there. I'm on Rapture. When's I, the last time you oh, played? Oh, okay, that's it? you're not even on the last world, Max. Oh shit! After Rapture, there's a level called the End. Oh god, damn it! <laughs> and and after the End is Bandage Girl's world, and her shit's the scariest. Like, I'm talking about blades that will kill you within the first second. Oh. It is fucking brutal. I just gotta start it. I, I started the, the last The last level that I'm stuck on right now, it's like 45 seconds long. And you have to run through, like, these, like, halls of blades. And the, the level design is pretty much the zigzags of a building. Oh, God. Yeah. And like... it just gets worse and worse. The last, the, the thing I die out the most, there's these tiny little blades that f- that fucking that zip by, yeah. And you, you like the the hall is so thin, you don't have much of a jump to get, but you have to be perfect with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I'm with Kelly. I have not picked it up <laughs> since I put. Yeah, it I don't blame you guys. I know it's <laughs> it's a fucking intense game, and I'm proud of myself for playing it. I will say, 
I know what you're talking about, Max, probably, that you started it twice, because when I jumped, I played it on my laptop, and I jumped on a desktop, my save, okay. yeah. my save. BRB, transfer. guys, I'm going to be yeah. over. Yeah, okay. Right. Um, yeah, exactly, and actually, I had to, in my case, I had to, uh, I thought I had brought my saves and put them in my external, uh, but I looked when I reformatted my hard drive, and I was like, <laughs> oh, shit, I have to do this over again, and I actually got to rapture quicker because i knew what to do but i'm still stuck on like that first stage and and it's like oh god and i really want to beat it because it is such a tight game it's so ooh, so devilish yeah so devilish like hotline miami i want to beat that game too it's so devilish no i think super meat boy is harder but maybe that's just because no it it is harder i think it like Okay, Hotline Miami. I got I, the first time I got tripped up was like the fourth stage, and then I I took a break, and then I came back to it, and I basically finished it in two nights. Super Meat Boy, I put it down after like the first level after the tutorial, <laughs> and I never <laughs> went back <laughs> to not. <laughs> also, I just like something about platformers is just I. They frustrate me more. This hotline Miami was like, I can sit here and wait, and then pick them out one by one, which is what ah, I did. Patience. I, I my average grade on those on Hotline Miami was like a C. So I think it was the same with me too. I was either C or B. I was super cautious. <laughs> That's dope. But it was so satisfying. Idea. I want to get that satisfaction, so I need to beat Super Meat Boy and. Oh, I mean, damn it. Yeah. And remember how I said, like, I don't really like super violent games? Yeah. I realized that it's, I like those games not particularly for the violence itself, but the satisfaction of it. And that's yeah. why I liked Hitman when I played Blood Money. Uh, I like, that's awesome. Die in yeah. gruesome ways. And the same way with Hotline Miami is like, oh, Dude, I earned I, that, you know? I honestly, didn't just go people. Honestly, when I get my new comp, I can't wait to play Sleeping Dogs with you guys. Oh, God, yeah. Wait, it's a one-player game, but yeah, I can't wait to just relish in that violence. <laughs> it's... Not, I'm, dude, I'm gonna, I, I I'm already gonna s- kick the shit out of every yeah, Asian I said, I said, I I said everything to. I said. I'm just gonna say satisfaction is guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I looked up on YouTube your date with the Emma Stone character. Oh, you looked it up? Yeah, I did. How was it? <laughs> it was, How was the date? It was, it was she fine. Just, you just take pictures of her. There's a part where you take pictures of her, and it's kind of creepy. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Like that kind of shit. That's you pretty cool. In, you can zoom in on whatever you want, and no matter what you do, she's it's like, like great oh, shot. that's great. You're a good photographer. <laughs> like, whoa. Clearly... Yeah, I- Someone's, yeah. someone's straightforward. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty... That's a Japanese-y kind of vibe. It's, um... It's so... I don't know. It feels so creepy and voyeurish. <laughs> You'll enjoy it, James. For sure. Okay. For sure. I mean, for the violence, not so much the fucking creepy photo-taking. No, I know. I know. It's... <laughs> Aside from that... Everything is good. <laughs> Sounds good to me, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I have a question for you guys. Okay. And Gal. You, um, I think it's cute that you do that. Yeah. You can't just say guys. And Gal. I think, um, I think it's respectful, but, you know. <laughs> what's it called? Do you guys? <laughs> it's respectful and do cute. You, did you, on your 3DSs, have marks on the top screen? Yes. From, yeah. Okay. From the, uh, from the you, thing on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, know you, I know exactly. From the what circle you're pad. From, from the circle pad, right? No, I, I'm from the border. Oh, of... Yeah, it reminds me. I I was supposed to. I was gonna buy a, a charger cradle and oh, a, yeah. and a stand. Yeah. I can remember to get that someday. Um the the border around the bottom screen it like touches the top screen. I mean I can't see it that much, but when there's a glare on it, I can see that it's marked it. I can't wait to play fucking Kid Icarus on my 3DS. I can't wait for you to play Kid Icarus on your 3DS. <laughs> That's Dude, all. Yeah. Uh, I I don't get that mark though. Have you I think played I think with the XL yet. I have. Yeah. It's, it's nice. Pretty awesome. 
Yeah. I like the I like the matte finish. I don't like glossy finish. I love um, matte. Yeah. I, well, thanks. Yeah, and I, I do. I'm, and I I love both types of matte. I both uh, I love both matte. <laughs> my my Xbox uh, my Slim is actually a matte finish, but it came with a two fifty gig drive. Yeah, didn't that guy hook you up? Yeah, he did. He was a cool guy. I, I wish I saved his number. I, I want to hit him up again and get more Xbox Live cards. <laughs> He's like has a stash of them. No, dude, he gave me the Xbox with 24 of them. Yeah, no, I know. I remember. <laughs> you told yeah. Me. He's just crazy. Basically gave you two months worth. Yeah, two years. Dude. Oh, yeah, two years. Not. I'm sorry. No, no, one year. One year. It was more like about 20 months, but I gave a lot of them out to my friends. Oh, okay. Kelly, what else is up? Oh, uh, do we just want to get in get in the nitty gritty and talk about what we've been playing? Because that's in, what I can do. You can I can get do into that. Anything you, you want to that. get into. You okay, then let's uh, let's hit the rewind button. Rewind. And okay. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about Assassin's Creed. Quick, too. quick, James, make a rewind noise. Irrit, 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 irrit. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. That was the best. That applause. was the worst that fucking the be- rewind noise ever. Just, just to clarify, who here has played Assassin's Creed Two? I started I, it. I was in the I beginning. Did. <laughs> J- James, didn't you say you started it too? No, hell oh, no. Okay. Sorry. Okay. No, no wait. No offense. No one else has played <laughs> any. Is that uh? I played the first one a little bit, and I hated it. <laughs> Same. I played Sorry. it up to when you meet Da Vinci. Killing me. Okay. So, you okay. so Kelly, you're gonna explain to us. Go. Okay. Go. I am the Assassin's Creed expert out of the four of us. The yes. The four of us. Four of the VG bandits. The and Assassin I've only expert. Two games. <laughs> <laughs> the Ezio expertise. It's your tour, your friends. That's pretty good. Oh Holy yeah, that, oh, you're this good at game. Italian. This game makes you think that you know Italian. I was going to say, like, <laughs> man, Kelly's, like, fluent now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm fluent. I bet I could be fluent with Italian after I play that game, then. <laughs> I'll fucking play it. They speak in English with Italian accents, but they slip in Italian phrases and words. That's so a- you're almost like, oh, I know what they're saying. <laughs> I know Italian. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's usually when they, like, curse, right? <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes they just throw they throw in words, but I put the subtitles on because it tr- the subtitles translate everything in parentheses, which is which is helpful because there are just full on sentences. Sometimes they just break off into. Full Wait, that sentences. that doesn't auto translate for you if you have them off. I don't, I don't know because I uh, as soon as I start a game, I go into the options menu and I turn on subtitle. I make sure that subtitles are on. Uh-huh. I have a really random request, I, Kelly. I tend to do that too. Hey. Can can you say gua- "Holy Guacamole" in that really Italian ass fucking accent? <laughs> guacamole is even Italian. I know it's not, but you know, I just want to hear it. Just go for it, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Um, like it was an Assassin's Creed too, so I don't know how to how to say it. Be like you know, a holy guacamole. <laughs> That's <know>. so <laughs> random. I know, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> gonna be random tonight. Fucking, cause I wasn't expecting to do the podcast like a little high I don't <laughs> anyway <laughs> that's <What's> good <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it, n- it <laughs> Holy guacamole. Anyway. Oh, so good. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. Okay. So Assassin's Creed 2, it makes me think I know Italian, and it also make, made me super hungry while I was playing. <laughs> Dude, was, really? it all this, was it all the spaghetti they were eating at the oh same time, Oh, my gosh. They were just, it, it, there were oh. parts where it just sounded like they just kept saying spaghetti over <laughs> marinara. <laughs> like... <laughs> Did they just go? That's really hilarious to me. It's, like, I Italian can't... is such a delicious language, and yeah. it's, it's like it's almost kind of sad because it's like I realize that I, I Americans probably. Penne I don't know if it's because I'm a Mar- American, and it's like 
that's what we're conditioned to think of food when we hear Italian, but... Yeah, yeah it's because it's good-ass food. I, yeah, I, it is. For some reason, Kelly, I imagined you, like, normal day, you're walking down the street, and everyone's just talking around you, but in your mind, you're just hearing, like, spaghetti. It's like, <laughs> pasta. <laughs> you're just, like, hearing this stuff. <laughs> A pasta for soon. Pasta for soon. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Do you, do you, you guys know what pasta fazool is, right? No, I don't. I think I know what it is. It's oh. delicious. Oh, you Asian. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Starting the new year right. We're nice. all deeply today. I, we apologize. We apologize oh, for we, nothing. Fuck you. We, we went to... <laughs> we went to... Um, Jin and I went to an Italian restaurant, and nice. one of the specials on the board was pasta vizul, and he was like, what's, pa- how do you pronounce that word? <laughs> and I was like, what pasta vizul? Because it's, it looks like pasta fag- fagioli. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's, that's how, that's vizul? Yeah. yeah. You just blew my mind. Just, right I'm now. having a big fat bowl of fagioli right now. No, you guys seriously blew my mind right now. I did not know that's how you said that. I yeah, didn't that, know either that, until that, she told me. And Max is more, has Italian in his name, and I don't. Yeah. Which, gives me, which gives me full right to make fun of them whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> my my mom is a, is Italian American, and I grew up to two old ladies who are Italian American. So you got street cred. Yeah. You're good. Pretty much. <laughs> like. Yep. Um. We have a cultured cast. Yes, we do. What were we talking about? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, um, there there isn't a scene where like he eats money got and and wine. Oh my god! <laughs> if he could, instead of the two blades coming out of his hands, <laughs> like two uh, two holy crap! What are those pastries called that are delicious? Uh, the ones with the with the ricotta filling. Oh, cannoli. Two cannolis Cannoli. come out of his hands instead. <laughs> Cannoli. Yeah, uh, that'd be. I think that'd be a better game. To be honest, I think I'd like that if he did that. Let's make that happen. We can make right. that happen, guys. He shoves them in, in people's mouths to yeah, calm exactly. them down. Yeah, exactly. Instead, of, they're just like, "Oh, I'm gonna sleep for a while. That was really good." And then that's <laughs> so you can still use the same death animation, but that should be a DLC. It would make millions. It will. Oh man, we're oh shit. Woo. Anyway, rail. this train is off the rails right now. <laughs> we uh, never had it. hey hey where we're going. There are no roads. Exactly, rails, roads, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the best new, my favorite new feature is the ability to throw money. I think I sh- did. I show you that, Max. You didn't show no. it to me, but you told me what happens. You throw money, uh, huh? Yeah, uh, because in this game, you, you collect money, and you can actually spend it, which is new. There's a lot of cool RPG elements that thrown in that weren't in the first one. You can, oh. you can, you know, you get money from finding it in chess or pickpocketing people and d- just doing, progressing. You get money, and you can buy equipment upgrade your equipment you can as i said earlier you can buy different colored robes that don't do anything just you know yeah. and, and, stylish. and uh and during the game you're rebuilding a, a city and the more you you build up the city the more revenue you collect from it so when, like when you first get there you can choose to like oh i'm going to rebuild the brothel and the <laughs> that's the first thing that i think they can <laughs> think of yeah um, let's totally rebuild the brothel get and, a and like, job. it makes sense because then once you rebuild that you get money every periodically and uh do they ever say putts what do they ever say putts putts no i don't think so <laughs> okay then it's not that italian <laughs> it's like oh you... they ever say one word nah, oh you mean like it's not italian you mean like like puta? puta? Did they say that? James, you're not Italian. I'm sorry. Aw. You're not Italian enough, James. Uh-oh. 
James. So offended. <laughs> James, I was just Bless. kidding. You can be Italian. <laughs> we like pasta. <laughs> James. <laughs> no, no. He, oh, no. Either he put himself on hold. or he, It's okay. Just keep going with your okay. thoughts. Um, <laughs> and I, I really like in this one, um, like I said, you can throw money. And it. It, it makes people flock to you and start picking up the money you just threw so they can get in the way of the guards that are chasing you Sorry, and stuff. I got a random call. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, I was just talking about the money. That, and it's, that... really, it's really funny because when you throw money or do anything, people react and, and you, you, know, you hear sound clips of people reacting. And there's one guy who, when you throw money, he goes, money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. That's the best thing I've ever heard. The most hilarious thing in that game. I don't know why. That's but I, it's I, obvious. Like, it's when I got best. rich, I just threw money constantly just to hear it. Like, <laughs> I throw going money through the sound clips. That's hilarious. Like, throw money at a guy if he said that. <laughs> 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 oh god, that's so funny. Uh, Nero. Um. <laughs> also, in this game, there's ways to decrease your notoriety, which I don't think you can do in the first one. So you can tear down posters of posters of yourself, or bribe the heralds who are like just making speeches out in the middle of the town to make them stop talking about you. Because in the first one, like mo once your notoriety goes up, I don't, I don't think there's, there's any way to bring it down except I'm just sorry, like time Kelly, you, you broke out a lot no uh you said it, any... i i heard it broke out a little bit but i heard she was saying there's no way to decrease it okay in the, okay in the first game all right okay it's okay there's a um a special portion of the game where you have to collect assassin seal assassin seals and you go to tombs and you have to complete these sort of one-off platform challenges and puzzles am it's, i coming in okay yeah yeah, yeah you're yeah. coming in fine. okay just making sure and it, it it's yeah. it's cool it reminds me of it's a lot like Twitter because you you go into these these uh these tombs <laughs> so it li literally they're tombs and then and the the camera pans over like all the different platforms and rails and different things you have to jump from and there's usually not too many enemies to worry about and all you have to do is make your way from point A to point B in platforming are and these, it's I like those a lot are these tombs would you say being raided that's exactly what you're doing <laughs> oh my. snap no that's that sounds pretty God. cool though I do. I faintly remember that when I was playing. I don't. Yeah. Think, so. I don't, yeah, you have to search for them. They're right? optional. They're like yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure they're optional. Cool. And then once you collect them all, you unlock. Um, I believe it's Altair's uh, armor, and it's the, oh, it's the strongest armor. You don't have to repair it. That's another thing too. Your equipment breaks in the in the game. You have to repair it at a blacksmith. The biggest question. Kelly. Yes. Are you going to play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood? Absolutely. Okay. Just I heard a matter that, of when. <laughs> I heard that was like the best one. I heard well, that too. Well, I am. I love two so much, so I'm excited. Excited. Um, Excitement. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> a few more things written down here. Um, there are straight up. There's a there's another side thing in the game where you find these glyphs and you have to do these puzzles. And when I say puzzles, I mean straight up. The the first puzzles are actually jigsaw puzzles. Like you need to move huh. the puzzles to make like a painting, and you or you need to like search the photo for a, a special symbol. It's like some Da Vinci Code shit oh, snap. going on. <laughs> it's it's really weird because. You need to do the like painting, ancient paintings, and then it goes to like photographs of Gandhi and Houdini. It's really <laughs> weird. What the hell? It's really weird. I don't um, know why, but 
It just made me. I don't. I there's no reason for me to think that was that funny, but I don't know why. I thought that was funny. Yeah, uh, I, I can. Funny. I I took some screenshots because I was just like, whoa, what, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> um, and one more thing I want to talk about. Okay, so this game takes place during the Renaissance, and there there's certain things that like the characters talk about where it's it's sort of this tra- dramatic irony where it's like, oh. I know what that is, but they don't because it hasn't happened. Yet. Whoa! And it's like uh, it's kind of like what happened. You're breaking out a lot, and I don't. I didn't hear like the last. <clears throat> yeah, you kind of broke out two senses. Jeez, what's going on? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Uh. uh <laughs> anyway. Okay. Uh, say what you just said. I will fix it. Oh, my call quality is low. How about now? Uh, that sounds better. Everyone else kind of went down for a little bit. Now everything's really? rising. Everything's going back up to normal now. Okay. Okay. Um. So there's a part where a character gives Ezio coffee mm-hmm. and he's like it, it's it's cafe in Italian he's like cafe what is cafe and then he's like oh it's it's a new thing here try it and so Ezio tries the coffee and he and he's like oh it's a little bitter perhaps if you added some sugar or latte <laughs> it's like wow. oh jesus jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, come on! Do you ever think it's like, oh, it's sad and true. And then, and then there's a part where um, Leonardo da Vinci says something like, they ask him, like, are you sure this is going to work? And he, he's like, as sure as the earth revolves around the sun. And then someone's like, you mean the sun around the earth? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> And everybody winks at the camera. Like, ah, uh, uh, you see that? You see that? Yeah, and then there's a there's a part where like they're, they're getting they're getting fireworks for Carnival, but Whoa. but there no one calls them fireworks. They refer to them as Chinese color powder. <laughs> Chinese color powder. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's just, there's a few uh, there's a few of those moments in there, and I don't know how I feel about them. That's awesome. But, I, I think I like it because it's not saturated with the that, mm-hmm. but that's fine. I can see why I, some some people complain that in the third one, I guess the American references were <laughs> hard to uh, swallow. I guess because yeah. because we're so you know we we had to take American history, and this is like, I mean I know some stuff about you know uh, Italy back then, but not you know like I don't know. Any specifics? You're not swimming yeah. in Italian yeah. history. Um. So, it was it was a lot of fun. That's Ooh. dope. And I would had, say you had a good time. Yeah. Um, play it. I like the first Assassin's Creed, but I would say if you didn't like Assassin's Creed, maybe you. I would still say if you get the chance to try out the second one. And if mm-hmm. not, then probably Brotherhood because they seem to just be getting better and better. On f- okay, but... okay. You know what? I'll I'll give the I'll give the series another chance. And uh, uh, I was I don't know. Uh, did you have more games to talk about? Because I have some really big news. Oh shoot. Um. No, I mean I finished Hotline Miami, but I don't really have much to say about that. Other did that than... does that end? Um satisfactory like are you satisfied yeah i'm satisfied okay good because i'm having such a good time that would be a killjoy if it just ended whack <laughs> whack yeah you know what i mean the, the final yeah the final like, the area end... is is pretty tough is the ending feel satisfying 
I think so. Okay, cool. Did you say so, Max? As far as, like, yeah, things feel not exactly tied up. I mean, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it's going to set itself up for the next game, but does it? Um, does it feel like it was Max, going to be there? its last anyway? Max went to the bathroom. Oh, he did. That's right. Um, I guess. I wasn't, I didn't really follow the story all that. Okay, you were, so you're more, you had a great time with the gameplay in a, general. Yeah, I just took it as a revenge story. And okay. It, it's wrapped up, I guess. That's so. cool. That's cool. That's cool. As long as it wraps up. All right. It's wrapped up. <laughs> Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Anyway, uh, should I start? Um, you can wait for Max. Okay. In the meantime. So what's new? Yeah, what have you been playing? Me? Um, nothing really, to be honest. I've just been relaxing. <laughs> yeah, it's nice yeah, to take I've a been break. Re- I've been relaxing with, uh, actually, Cave Story. Oh, really? I've been playing Cave Story on my 3DS a lot, and, um, still playing Theater Rhythm, actually. Uh, I have I still haven't gone back to my Mighty Switch Force. Um... Gerard got me uh, 999. I still haven't really gotten past the first room. <laughs> Pro- probably the, the only thing that I've been doing is trying to figure out the best way to record game footage with Max and Kelly. Yeah. Hey, by uh, the way, yeah, can uh, hey, Max, Kelly, are we able to play Theater Rhythm online together? Uh, n- uh, uh, no. I don't, I don't think there's so. any... Oh wait, yeah, I, there is. There is lo- local yeah. co-op. I was gonna say there's, but oh, only local. I think so, yeah. Oh, uh, it would be local. Cause I thought it would be like it'll show you guys playing a game while I see like the friends list in in the 3D ed- 3DS hub screen. Ah. Uh, and I thought there was a thing to tap it and like say join game or whatever. Sorry, that James, would, it's not that, that robust yet. <laughs> oh, it's not. No. Does it even do that for Mario Kart? Oh man! Damn! <laughs> Come on, Nintendo! Come on, man! Yeah. Show, show me something good. Keep keep me from pirating. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking keep me. <laughs> I, I I tend to wonder. I don't care a fuck. No, no, I tend to wonder. <laughs> um, <clears throat> James. Do, do you want to? I, I only speak on my no, no, I know. behalf of myself, okay? I know. Right. No, I was going to say, do you want to tell them your extra news? Which extra news? There's been so much extra news. The extra news you've been telling me, all this stuff. What other stuff? No, just. Which. Ec- there's so much stuff. Let's I, just I talk mean... about what's up with you, James. Okay. Keep talking about it. Hold on. I've been, uh, like. Okay, the last time I was out uh, out of uh, off of the podcast, I was actually shopping for arcade cabinets. I oh, came man. up on one for eighty bucks, and I think it only has a tube problem. If if it does have, if it's just a screen, I'm coming up on a Tekken two cab, and yeah, it was eighty bucks. The screen didn't work when I went to go see it, but um, I bought it for yeah eighty and. Um, I did hear like the game sounds come through the speakers, so I know the game works. That's so, awesome. But the only thing is, I just need to, yeah, find a way to get that tube working. <laughs> and I made room in my in my bedroom. Like I'm no longer living like the Lenny that I've been for the past year. <laughs> like <laughs> like like for real, my col- my closet situation for the longest time was just laying all my clothes over two chairs. Oh man! But and now, now I I have a I have like a little bit of a, a wardrobe that uh, my like yeah my sister I found out my sister actually worked in my town I talked to this bitch that fucking often I didn't even know oh wow. and so she was like move, they're moving everything in their company across the street there's a bunch of stuff in her office that was up for grabs and I came up on a leather chair and a wardrobe. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and it's cleaned up my room really, really well. I also recently bought a game rack that I keep my 360 and my PS3 on there. Oh, sweet. But um, right now I have 
my, my friend Alexis is actually like staying with me a little bit and um she no, while she's still looking for a place she brought in her big screen and I've been pl- I was playing Persona 4 on that earlier today. Oh nice. How do you like that? It looks so nice with component cables and on a big screen, dude. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. Cl- it's cleaned up pretty well. Cool. Um so yeah, uh do you, should I talk about that idea? Uh yeah, talk about it. Okay. So while I was shopping, well, okay. I forgot to tell you guys this while you were over. I live two blocks away from a vintage arcade warehouse. Oh, and, well. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've known about it for a year. Uh, sorry I didn't take you guys there. We could have <laughs> seriously just walked there from my house. Uh, <laughs> That's but, quite all right, dude. But yeah, while I was looking, while I was there, just kind of like getting a feel of how heavy and big this thing's going to be in my room, um, I was just looking at the decals and shit. And I was thinking, you know, I mean, I follow a decent amount of video game artists on Tumblr. And so I was thinking, dude, what if I did a Kickstarter on making basically making the arcade cabinets like canvases for these artists and showing off indie games in the cabinets too and just throwing off a legit indie cade art show. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. I think it would be a dope Kickstarter. And I would plaster VG bandits all over this bitch. (laughs) Oh, there there you go. Yeah, just to advertise. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. What do you guys think? Just, oh, like these it. are just, these are just speculations and ideas, you know. I mean, I live next to an arcade warehouse. Um, I've been I've been messaging this artist on Tumblr. His name's his name's Jake. Uh, goes by Time Cowboy. Ten Cowboy. Uh, no, Time Time Cowboy. Oh, Time Cowboy. Oh, okay. I'll put his Tumblr in the in the chat, and you can check out his art. Cool. Because uh, I noticed the he he posted some shit on Twitter, and I was like, oh, shit, you play fucking Mother 3 and everything. Dude, you, you know your shit. You're dope. So I messaged him my idea. He's from fucking Australia, and I don't know if you guys know what it's like to be a gamer in Australia, but that's the shittiest place to be. Yeah, uh, sucks. Yeah, their censorship dead is li- ridiculous. You- you get games dead last. They're more expensive. Censorship's higher. It's fucking. It's pretty fucking shitty. So I hit him up and was like, "Dude, I live next to a game store called Game Dude that Famitsu writers fucking shop at. If you want, I want to like hook you up with games, and I want to see if like you could make art for this thing. That's like awesome. at, at least like I'll uh, when my cabinets in my room, I'm gonna take pictures and try to come up with a. Uh, the dimensions and shit and make them something in Photoshop so he can fuck with it. Awesome. And I'll, like, send you one, too. Um, my idea was to basically pay him in games to get him to draw stuff on, like, yeah, that template and pay to have them done on really high-quality decals and just stick them onto my cabinet take pictures, see what the reception's like, and then maybe stumble, like, rustle up enough interest for this Kickstarter. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Like, see if other video game artists would be interested in being part of it. Yeah, anybody out there who's interested, just uh, send an email to to us. Yeah, just think about what it would be like to have a cabinet, like, for Super Meat Boy or Dust Forest or fucking, like, anything, really. Anything. So, cool. Very uh, rad. I mean, I honestly, Max, I think you'd be pretty. You'd be a prime candidate to make like a, a cab for Cave Story. Oh, I'd love that. That'd be cool. I'd love to see that. Yeah, it's weird. I, I it's like I, I, I'm always weary of doing fan art because I know I look at a lot of fan art and I don't like it. Uh-huh. So yeah, no, I, I feel wanna, you, dude. I yeah, know. And I'm like, I, I, I don't want to. Yeah, I, it's just like I don't want to make something that looks like uh, that misses the point. 
or yeah. something. I mean, if but, you guys like, you guys should follow Zach Gorman's blog. He does this great fan art of Mother Three. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, not Mother Three. Mother, just uh, Earthbound, Mother Two. Oh, okay, cool. He does really good fan art of that Zelda stuff, Final Fantasy VI. Um, he even did. He did a pretty fun comic on uh, Super Time Force. Oh. Like oh. it was, it, it it showed him pretty much playing the game, and. Like yeah, the dudes like are shooting like a, a T Rex with machine guns and shit, <laughs> and the T Rex has like guns mounted on its head and stuff. And what he's just glanced, he's like talking to the developers. And he's like, "Have you guys been reading my diary?" Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's just one of the ideas I've had recently. Cool. Um, and, uh, oh, not, to mention, not to mention yes. with the arcade cab I'm gonna get, I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to make it a main machine. That's good. Have you guys ever played Battletoads in the arcade? Not, uh, no. you know what? I feel bad because I it was there when I went to Magfest and I didn't try it. Dude, that is the craziest arcade game I've ever seen in my life. Really? That Battletoads is actually really, really bloody. Really? Yeah, like if you look at uh, look up Battletoads arcade in, on YouTube, like I like you just look at the footage. I think it would do really well on the 3DS actually. Hmm. But who knows if Rare has like the connects to put that back on or whatever, you know? Yeah, I know. I feel like Rare is in such a shitty position right not now. To, not to mention it's bad blood with Nintendo already. I know. God. I wish, I wish I mean, better for them. They did such a shit job with that fucking Diddy Kong Racing on the DS. Oh really? Yeah, it was not. Yeah, it was real bad. Because I lo- I love the one on the N sixty four. Like uh, there were a lot of good reviews, but honestly, play that thing. It's terrible. Ugh. Disappointing. Yeah. Um. But yeah, look, recently I've been I've been really having a lot of fun with my three DS XL. Nice. Yeah. Um, what else have you been playing on that? Um, uh, Metroid Two for the Game Boy. Uh, uh, Mighty Switch Force. Um, Theater Rhythm. Nine Nine. Uh, well, I've only played the first room in Nine Nine Nine. Awesome. And, and mostly Cave Story, really. I uh, I beat it on the Wii version. The WiiWare yeah. version, yeah. The WiiWare version is actually my my favorite. It has the best art style. But I was really it does, surprised. But it doesn't that, have all the. Me. It doesn't have all the add-ons that Cave Story Plus does, but the 3DS version does. Yeah, so that's like, I think that's definitely the best version. If anybody's going to get Cave Story, it's get... really the, the the definitive version is actually on the 3DS. Yeah. Definitive. That that and it's portable, so it just feels so comfy. Oh, definitely. It's, and, it's in uh, widescreen, right? And it, it, it's in widescreen, and okay. it's you know what's cool about it. Like, honestly, the three D stylers, uh, uh, the three D sliders feel a little gimmicky, but they do a decent job. And it's pretty nice seeing it like that. Make they they make small things pop out a little bit, and it's pretty cool. Just seeing like the depths of the backgrounds move and stuff, it's pretty, it's pretty chill. I yeah. tend to have the, I tend to have the 3D just like a small notch up. I have it halfway, more I than half the time. I think that's more than enough for me. Cool, <laughs> cool. But yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Very nice. I'm getting an arcade cab in my room. <laughs> you just gotta fix that screen, right, James? Yeah, the screen. I don't know enough about like fixing arcade cabinets but my friend travis haven't seen him in about a year but we're gonna get together soon um he used to repair arcade cabinets at bj's there you go that's your ticket in yep whoever wants to play tekken 3 at James's house. oh and also even if i ever got this like art show to kick off i would get travis to brew like some really good beer travis is a home brewer 
he makes really good beer. Like he, so, like you get a buzz and it's clean. Like it's not like kind of the kind of shit you get at the store. It'll be a party all the time. Honestly, like with homebrew beer, it's just like so that that clean makes such a difference. Because like with the stuff in the store, that beer's gone in from hot to cold, hot to cold, hot to cold, right? So you yeah. never you never taste what the brewer intended, but when it's like fresh made and ta- and tapped like straight from the keg, yeah, straight from the keg, like and kept at 40 degrees up until it was fucking tapped. Oh man, it's fucking nice. I I'd love to try that. I've never had a home brew beer. Did you say it is magical. It is fucking magical. <laughs> <laughs> Magical. How excited oh. are you about your computer? <laughs> uh, okay. I have some bad news and some good news. On Sunday, my computer died. That's always rough. And uh, I've been on. I've been doing these Skype chats with my phone ever, anyway because it's actually a better quality. That's how bad my computer is, guys. But anyway, so. <laughs> It's dead, but me and Matt are. Matt, Matt's going to be building me a computer, and One it's going I'll to be happy with. And it's going to be sick, and I I can't wait. I'm gonna definitely like have this put together, or at least um I'm sorry, like just I'm gonna have I'm gonna pay Matt by my next payday. Dude, it'll be good. It'll be good. You pro- you finally experience a bunch of games. He basically told me this thing is gonna be like a console that's capable <laughs> of be, everything. It'll be your Steam box. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be my Steam box. Awesome. You'll be happy. Honestly, I just can't wait to just watch Netflix on this thing. <laughs> as stupid as that sounds, <laughs> I can't wait to hook it up to my TV and watch Netflix in like a beautiful 1080p. In a good stream. Yeah, you're, you'll be happy. I mean, it's and Steam too, dude. You're God. Yeah. <clears throat> Just don't waste I'm, all your money in one sitting. It's dangerous. Steam is dangerous. It is, but you know what? I mean, I have a great job right now. I know. I'm. I'm just saying, dude. It's easy to get like overwhelmed. Yeah, you, dude. <laughs> yeah. Max and Kelly will tell you. How much have you guys spent in one sitting? Help me. Of, of what? Netflix? And That's all Steam. I have to say. Steam. Oh, on Steam? It's been... Mm-hmm. Help me, like, like... How how bad have you blown it in one sitting? I think I've bought three games in a sitting once. It's it's see that's the thing. It's not about how much you spend. It's about yeah. how, the quantity, dude. Uh, okay, I want to know how much you spend though. <sighs> mm, I don't have a lot of money to blow, so yeah. maybe like it's maybe just... at the most like fifty bucks. But I bought right now, like because like, now I'm I'm like fucking. Because s- to be real, Kelly, right now I'm fucking balling. <laughs> <laughs> There's like um like. That's why, like, I got that picture of myself drinking them 50 beers. Fifty bucks will get you like seven games, dude. Like, you know how good it's I was. True. I spent seventy dollars on beer alone. Jesus Christ, dude! Be careful. I bought. I, I bought none. Uh, <laughs> bottles and new wine whoa, glasses. Well, hold on, you're, you're cut, yeah, I was, you cut. You cut out I, so badly there. Rewind I did so badly there, James. Rewind that. Okay, I, I spent seventy dollars on beer alone. Yeah. And, and I bought like nothing but ten dollar beers and fucking uh new wine glasses and shit. Basically and just, you didn't give a damn. Yeah. <laughs> give a fuck. Did you get a new couch too? No, that couch has been there. It's a nice looking couch. Thanks. My dad picked it out. It's a pretty stiff actually. It folds down into a bed, but it's pretty stiff. Dope. Max. Yeah. What is up? Like a, but yeah, I was playing Persona 4 on that couch earlier. It, my shoulders hurt. <laughs> yeah, that's bad if you're uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it reclines too, so it's just like, man, just, it's, it's pretty stiff. Yeah. Max, talk. Yeah. Oh. 
All right. <laughs> well, talk about Magfest for a little bit. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You, damn it. Magfest is so cool. Max was yeah. the first convention of the year before. Very first. It it starts January third or started January third. So what what month is Pax East? It's March this year. It's March twenty second. I have to tell my boss. That how I need much to go. do you th- how much do you think it'll cost me? It's it it's too late. It's man. sold out. Oh. You you'd oh. have to you have to go to a um. Fuck it. You, you can see if you in? could. You, <laughs> Hey, we. Dude, I'll buy you a plane ticket. Just sneak wait, me in. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> I don't know if they should say that. Yeah, I don't uh... give. I'm sorry. I don't. I, I'm. I'm that guy. That asshole. That's gonna not give a fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, James. We just can't. Okay. Just can't. I'm sorry. We can't. We're having issues wink, with wink. with finding hotel. It's getting to the point where it's not Holy fun to shit. Okay. plan I get this you. anymore. No, That's... no. Listen, <clears throat> like, okay, so like, the you... hotel link went live on a weekday, and <clears throat> everyone throat> else, like, I stumbled, I just happened to look on the internet around 3 p.m., and mm-hmm. the link went live, like, earlier that day. Cause... So b- by the time that we were uh... looking for hotels, mm-hmm. all of the... All the rooms, all the double bedrooms where we usually stay had sold yeah. out already. Oh, you guys, and it was really? depressing. But you guys yeah. know, fer- you guys know, like know Ferret from Mega Sixty Four. Yeah. I, I was messaging her on Tumblr. She asked me if uh, I was going to go to Pax East, and it made me think about it. Oh, sweet. It's like damn. I never. I it's it's so weird when like I know who she is, but I've never spoken to her. She's really nice. She's pretty cool. I can imagine, but yeah, yeah. I personally don't know her. Yeah. Damn. Um, I barely know her, but so yeah, we well, we in... just only started talking a little bit. I know she's like in Canada. So you guys are still in hotel limbo. Is what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, actually. Kelly, I'll talk to you about it afterwards, but I did find something. I don't know if you saw the message I sent out. I did. Yeah, yeah. so that could work. Um, anyway. Fingers crossed for you guys. Yeah. So MAGFest was very fun. Uh, I th- I think I had... Well, I mean, Uematsu was at MAGFest last year, and that was just an absolute dream. Like, and was, Hey Ash. And Hey but Ash was there. More importantly, and, Uematsu. So you, so you met Hawk and Uematsu? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was intense. Oh. It was like wow, that is crazy. And Al- Alan McLean, the voice of Glados. Yeah. You oh, know, I, her I, panel. I, I have a Can I tell you guys, like uh, really? a couple years back, I went Damn. to a I went to a Kotaku pre three party, and um, I, I I met Anthony at the I met Anthony at the bar. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you told you told us. Anthony is so thin, dude. I felt like I was when I shook his hand. I felt like I was able to crush him, <laughs> dude. I, he seems so fragile, but he's a really People nice guy. Are really, really thin. It's like, damn it, why can't I have your metabolism? I don't understand. It's not I fair. know they're so skinny. It's like, uh... that you know, I, I met Cliff Bazinski at that thing there too, and it... oh my god, he's he is the keynote speaker for Pax East this year. Cool. Cliffy right. oh, really? B is a pretty nice guy. I have never been to a keynote yet, and I think I might go because of him. Yeah. Have you heard of this band called Quarter Flash? It sounds familiar. They were from the eighties. They do. They harmonize saxophone and guitar solos. I think that sounds really familiar. They're really fucking crazy dope. <laughs> Like I was watching some VH1 with my coworkers at work, and we were like, "Whoa, that's dope!" <laughs> like they they were showing some like uh, '80s concerts on the TV, and I was like, "Oh man, you guys had the best concerts." That chick was singing without auto tune and still sounded amazing, you know. Yeah, and that's good. not only that, she had the pipes to fucking bust out a fucking saxophone solo. <laughs> Yeah, playing any sort of wind instrument or brass or anything like that is like I I envy those people. Honestly, I envy anybody with musical talent. But yeah, question for you guys. Yeah. I'm gonna say guys because Kelly's not here yet. 
Do you guys put a land? Would you put a lanyard? I... Oh, damn it. And gal, would Hi. you put would you put a lanyard on your 3ds? Yeah. Do you guys? Have I one? thought. I honestly, I thought about this thing. I noticed that on my on my XL, there's two brackets for for like hanging something. You know. Yeah, there there's two on. So I was thinking of about. I don't care if it makes me look stupid, but I wanted to make a mount. A what? <laughs> so a mount, a portable mount. That you could just have your 3DS propped up on your chest and, like, just play. <laughs> you should do that. <laughs> I don't care if I look stupid. I'd do it. <laughs> you, should, you should do it, James. Do it. I'll, I could I could smoke a stick with my do hand, it. and then with my other hand, I'm just, like, fucking playing theater rhythm. You do that with the stand. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> so, are we, uh, are we back to recording? Yes. Everything's... Uh- all systems are nominal. Okay. Okay, good. What were we talking about? Uh, so Magfest. I, Magfest, Magfest, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, we were talking about Magfest. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. Um, so this year, uh, you know, Uematsu and Hop were not there, uh, but okay. Yuzo Koshiro and Kinuyo Yamashita were there. And for those who don't know, okay. For those who don't know who they are, uh, Yuzo Koshiro. Uh, I guess a lot of people know him for the Streets of Rage soundtrack, oh. but but he as I like I didn't know he did that. All I knew was he did the soundtrack to the first two Ease games, and he also did the soundtrack to Shenmue. Um, wow! <clears throat> did he oh do gosh, uh, Streets really? of Rage two? Uh, I'm not sure. He might have. Um, well, I love all the music in the Streets of Rage series. It's yeah. so it's a mellow, jazzy vibe. Yeah, no, he's a he's a really talented guy. Like, um, oh, he also did act uh, act razor as well. Mm. Um, act wow. razor is one of my favorite music games. Yeah, really. I would, like I love the town music in Fillmore. Oh yeah, it's oh I love so Shenmue. Good. <laughs> yeah, Shenmue is like I I I've I've never seen a. I played a game as atmospheric in the way that Shenmue does it. I love the music in that game. You know what's stupid it. about Act Razor? You know how uh, no matter what you're called, sir, whatever the fuck you call yourself? Yeah. I always named my guy Mix a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! Oh, man. So, uh, sir Mix a lot is the god. <laughs> Excuse me, oh. Sir Mix a lot. Oh, yeah, he did uh, Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3. And, uh,. Oh, and wow. he did. I forgot he was one of the five composers for Kid Icarus Uprising, so he already is. Wow, there's he's legit. There's five wow, composers. I'd love to meet that guy. Yeah, f- the composers are him, Motoi Sakuraba, who is a Star Ocean and you know Tales composer. Okay. Uh, Masafumi Takada, who did like Killer Seven and God Hand and a bunch of other stuff. Oh wow! I can't wait to play God Hand. I still I, haven't touched it. Yeah, that game's soundtrack is one of the most boss soundtracks ever. I, I hope you like it. Um, Noriyuki Iwadare, who he you, uh, dude, you would really love the Battle Toads arcade soundtrack. It's so rockin'. I'll have to check that out. Uh, but that guy, he's done the Lunar Games, and um, he's done a lot of RPGs. And finally, or actually, there are two more. Uh, Yasunori Mitsuda also worked on Kid Icarus Uprising. Um, and I'm most people know who he is. Uh, you know, Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger. Ton Wait, of stuff. You, you, Yasunori is on there? Yeah, Yasunari is on there. Dope. And, and uh, Takahiro Nishi. Unfortunately, I don't know much about him. So. Has Koji Kondo done anything in a while? He did. He worked on Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, well, he did a great job with that. I'll he, tell you what. Yeah, he really did. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Um, oh, oh, this guy, Takahiro Nishi, he worked on Grandia. So, anyway... Uh, so anyway, so he was there, and then the other composer, she is actually responsible for the first Castlevania soundtrack, um, mm. and she wow. lives and she lives in New Jersey, which is really weird to me. That's um, cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's just comfy. She knows what's up. I guess so. Yeah, but she was really nice, and um, during her panel, uh, she played some music uh, on the piano for us afterwards. It was really pretty, really nice. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. So I'd, yeah, I'd live in Jersey. They have nice forests. 
<laughs> yeah? Oh, I, I did not know that. <laughs> um, well, my cousin lived near a forest. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but <laughs> just make me laugh. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. There was, there's the vendors. Well, there's two things about MAGFest that I really like. The vendors have some really sick shit stuff in conditions that I don't know why. I don't know how they have games that are in as good a condition as they are. Mm. And, uh, like, you know, they all have Super Famicom, they'll have Famicom, NES, stuff that are still in their boxes, and the wow. boxes are in good condition as well. Wow. Um, and just things that I wish I had a lot more money Dude, for. Dude, yeah. Well, Honestly, they, were, they were selling these? If, if you oh, looked... yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they were God. selling Honestly, Stuff. To be real, Max, if you lived in your game, dude, you'd be broke too. Yeah, I probably would. From the from the looks of things, I'm really pissed though because I'm realizing now that if I ever want to buy an actual copy of Earthbound, that I'm just going to have to shell yeah. out however yeah. a couple hundred dollars for a couple hundred's a little steep. But if Game Dude ever brings it in, it'll be eighty. Seriously? Wow! I totally pay eighty for that game. Yeah. Uh, cause that game is just, it just gets more and more expensive over the years. There's just, yeah, it does. Oh, it doesn't go down in value. Holy yeah, no, crap. it doesn't actually. Um, yeah. Oh. I was wondering yeah. why do you want, I, I, I'm trying to think of how to sound, how to word this, but yep. what, Without sounding what personally, booking. yeah. What is the appeal of having a physical copy, copy of a game like you, that? You never, you know, it's it's it's, a, it's a childhood thing, honestly. It's the difference between it's the difference between playing on an emulator and then having the authentic experience, yeah. like you, and playing honestly, it the way it was meant to be played. Yeah, and honestly, with emulation, you never get the complete experience. Like it's not, it's it's like driving stick. <laughs> I, honestly, I, I feel like it's like driving stick. Oh, like you have the the best. I have the best experience driving like stick in a car. Well, we could the go for. I I have never. Driven, you know what I mean? Well, I've never uh, driven stick, so I don't. Uh, know. How about you, Matt? Have you ever driven stick? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right. I think so. Like it just. This is the way cars were meant to be driven. I think that's what you. I think you mean. Like you're interacting. It has, it, you're physically yeah, interacting you, with it. You feel like you have more control. And that's uh, probably but, what you mean by the games, too. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. I could, well, it takes away a, a, the control of what, you know, playing it on different platforms, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you want to play it that way because it's just, you know, it feels better. It It's kind of like, I mean, I mean, I played, I played Earthbound, um... I played Earthbound through a friend, quote unquote, uh, but okay. I've never been able to play, you know, a copy of my own. Yeah, and I or a physical copy that is. So, and the the nice thing, actually, this kind of brings me to some news that I think needs to be spread more. Uh, the creator of Mother is said Itoy? that he, Itoy is uh, working on some Mother projects right now, and not. He's not. You, work, he's not. You, I'm sorry. He's did not, you see that? Did you see that planner that I posted on Tumblr that he made? No, no. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to more about it later. Go okay. on. He's uh, working on. He's not working on Mother Four. He's actually letting the fans who are working on that Mother Four fan project. He's backing them fully. He's like, yeah, I want to be the player this time. So, and he's really impressed with what they're making. Uh, wow, but, cool. Yeah. But he is working on. I'm one... glad he's actually supportive of his fucking people. Yeah, exactly. Fuck but you, he... Capcom. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he is working on multiple mother-related projects. What they are, we're not sure. But if it's another, he says he wants to find a way of making mother playable. That's what it said in the post. So I, I wonder if that. I think I take that as he's going to try and find a way to make it available to more people because right now those Dude, games are it, on, honestly if he can re-release the the game boy advance combo of mother one and two yo dude i, I on think... the eShop. dude you should just go the full way and just have mother one two and three as a collection on the oh 3DS. yeah yeah dude that would be so sick because and, honestly, yeah 
Yeah, and with like you know revamped graphics. Uh, leave them. Don't. You, okay, leave them. But no, you know I, what? I would, Why not throw in a slider thing? Oh, oh, you mean like a three dimension, like a three D yeah. thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be. I guess that'd be fine. But honestly, I think the way, like you know, honestly, I don't like it when, when they re-release games and they have to add that really crappy filter to smooth out all the pixels. I think that yeah. looks. I think that looks shitty and it's disrespectful. Or it just. <laughs> Where basically where it's kind of like interpolation. Yeah, it where it's like you know like. Yeah, it smooths know, off. It smooths off the jaggies. Yeah, it's, I, I. Yeah, I don't like it either. I, I like the I like the jaggies. Yeah. I like seeing pixels that just kind of pop out. Yeah, I like it. I don't know what you're talking about, really. Have you ever played a game like an old game and then it had a filter to smooth everything out? I wouldn't. <clears throat> I probably wouldn't know. The oh, okay, I'll. I'll <laughs> I'll show you one day. Super All I know is that texture mapping on PlayStation 2, it makes games look so much better. Well, that works really well actually. But when it comes to like when it comes to when it comes to like 8-bit 16-bit games, the 2D kind of smoothing doesn't translate as well. Oh, yeah. okay. Like yeah. pixel. Exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll show what you. Could you what do they do exactly? It basically it... I don't know. It just basically just smooths off the the sprites and pixels. They make the pixels like it, round it, instead of square. It doesn't so much round, but just like it presents somewhat of a fuzz to keep the picture from popping as much. Yeah, like like it just kind of dulls the colors down a bit. Just just type in Super Two X Psy on Google. Super Two X. Super. Two-X-I. <laughs> Super. Type in, uh, in honestly, just type in interpolation and then type no, no, in high res. No, type in super two xi. This right here. Um. But anyway. Oh, uh, I was spelling psi like like the Korean singer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's S A Y. Did you guys know that um, Shigesato Itoi also he voiced the father in My Neighbor Totoro? Yes. Wow. And he I was on Iron Chef. I what? Heard, yeah, he was, he was on, on Iron, Iron Chef. Chef. He was a judge. Yeah. Dope. I bet. It, I hope he got a good meal. Yeah. The. I mean, it's funny because like we all know him as the guy who created Mother, but he's more known in Japan as a copywriter. Like he's he's done. Um, it, uh, I saw his recent project. He makes these planners that uh, they're year planners, right? And throughout the book of your planner, there are random cultural facts about Japan. Oh, that's awesome. And um, he also has, like, I think he released them in English, too. Oh. And they're, like, 24 bucks, but the import's, like, really pricey. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I think it's, like, 50 bucks to get the Mother 3 sleeve. Oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah, How I much? mean, it's, like, 50. Yeah, it's pricey as fuck. I, I mean, I've, I, I found it on Tumblr. Shit. It's pretty badass. Um, I'd, I'd love to have like a, a planner. Yeah, <laughs> I've um, never I've never really used the planner, but yeah, I, it's a nice outlet for like a journal and stuff too. Yeah. Um. But anyway, back to Magfest. Uh, so on top of the awesome vendors, uh, there were some actually really good cosplays this year too. This one girl did the best Mega Man I've ever seen in my entire life. She had, like... You know how, like, a lot of the, the Mega... Like, Mega Man has this really rounded look to him, like, a very smooth, rounded look in a lot of the artwork, the official yeah. artwork? Yeah, yeah. She, she captured that so perfectly. I was like... She, did she capture well, the bulk of the boots? Yes, the bulk of the oh, boots. Oh, nice. Every, everything was proportionally perfect. I... I, I have a picture of it, uh, cool. but I, I need to... I can't, Obviously, people can't see it, but... Uh, Fucking post it, dude. Oh, yeah, I'll just post it. I'll give it to, I'll give it to Matt. Just give um, it to you. Give it to you. Uh, but aside from the vendors, there was... And, and the cosplay, uh, they have a 24-hour arcade. So, and Ooh. the the arcade is actually... There's the arcade that has arcade machines... That's mm-hmm. like one whole convention hall, and then mm-hmm. there's another convention hall that has a bunch of console hookups as well Ooh. as uh, some tabletop games. 
And those are open 24 hours a day, so you can go in when it's like four in the morning and just play games. And they that have, sounds awesome. Crap. Yeah, and they have a great selection too. Um, there was some stuff missing that I think last year had a little bit of a better selection, but it was still impressive. Actually, they also had Johann Sebastian Joust there, and I got to try that out. Uh, <laughs> I, sorry, I, I that, that name just kills me. Yeah, um, for people who don't know what that is, it's basically... I actually I don't know how to fully describe it. It it's basically they play music and everybody has a there's no you don't have to use a screen or a television screen. All you have to do is use PlayStation Move controllers and there's like about 6 PlayStation Move controllers. Each person has one and the ball on the controller will change color with the music and with with whatever position it's in. And if it gets jostled, it turns red. And when it turns red, you're out of the game. So, Sounds pretty psychedelic, actually. E- kind of. I mean, it's, it's a lot of, like, basically you're trying to screw over the other players. and make It's like mm. having an egg on a spoon and getting them to drop it by knocking them around. Nice. Uh, Sounds but, pretty fun. Yeah, so, I got, yeah. what is the point of the music? Uh, I think you actually have to move along with the flow of the music. Or... Uh, I'm not 100% sure, actually. I, th- I always wondered this. When everyone's... I was like, oh, that sounds cool, but I could never pinpoint, like, what the point of the music was other than to have noise I think, going on. I think the way... You know he, what? I think... Well, you should... You know what game you should try, Kelly? You should try Rez. Oh, I actually did, like, two days ago. How... What'd you think of it? I didn't know what I was doing, but it looked cool. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of exactly how it feels. Um... Actually, the way this dude described it to me, uh, Joust, that is, is that uh, it's a mix of egg on a spoon and musical chairs. Mm. So basically, when the music stops, everybody has to move, stop moving. Oh, that uh, makes sense. that's like musical chairs. Okay, yeah. I like that. Um, yeah, it's an actually a fun. It was I, I was the first one out, but I still had fun. <laughs> oh. It's all good. So, so Kelly, did you see the uh, the pic that Matt showed to explain? Pretty much the filters. Yeah. So which one do you think looks the best? No comment. Gotcha. <laughs> Gotta remember, Kelly never played those during the time. Yeah, I know. But just I can't even here. tell what the original is supposed to be. Sis, ma'am. Yeah, I don't like if you told me that's supposed to be. That's a the. Wing, OG- I'd be like. What? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, the 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 original system memory, right? Max. Oh, Matt? sorry the the original cyst memory. Um, Matt, you know the photo you posted? Yeah, what about it? The original cyst mem, right? The original is just whatever the first one was. Yeah, oh, that's... oh, you're talking about the Super Xi? Yeah, the first one is the original, and then. Those are all the filters that kind of smooth out all the jaggies. Yo, that that first one looks stuff. so shitty. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, dude. The well, high res, you're, you're looking the at high it, res well, text looks really good, actually. Well, first, first of all, you got to realize that you're looking at it from a zoomed in view. So, okay. so if you looked at it from like from how it's laid out in the game, then you might not think it's so shitty. Uh, but yeah, zoomed in, it's like it's a little bit harder to look at. Still, Honestly, I, still, it's crisper though. It's like cleaner. It's it's like this, I, I, this I'm not, muddy. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, high res stretched is my favorite. Oh, the the last one. Yeah. Yeah, that one, that one's the least offensive, I think. Open. I like the nice. high res t- uh, text one. I like I like Open GL a lot too. Hmm. Because it still keeps the There's so open many. GL open GL cleans it up, but it still keeps the pixels intact. There's a, there's there's a lot of of things. I've seen people put scan line filters to make it look like a CRT. Yeah. Yes, I know. There was a... I, I, I have uh, I've I've also played with um, NTSC filters to make it feel like a TV. Yeah, there's so there's like there's a special kind of flicker in there too. <laughs> Yeah, people are hardcore, dude. Yeah. Um, but to what to answer what Mac Kelly was asking, 
I guess it's those, it's those people who really want that authentic experience, I guess. Yeah, exactly. It's a physical there's, copy. Well, this, I'm a uh, fake person, so... No, it's cool. Well, it's also, like, if you played... Okay, uh, was, wait, 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 hold I mean, on, hold on. Okay. Wait, so, so if you're if you're playing... If you ever play, like, a Super Nintendo game through the cartridge, and then if you play it on an emulator, uh, a lot of the times, like, the emulator won't... Like, you won't get the same speed. Like, it won't be a completely smooth experience. Yeah. Um, it can know, chug a bit. It can chug a bit, so... The, it, there is a there is an actual difference between playing it on an emulator than there is uh, playing through the cartridge. Oh, I, I believe you. I'm not I'm not arguing. I believe you. I yeah. agree. Yeah. I don't know what your point is. The uh, the <laughs> point is it's more of an authentic experience. I don't know. It's just for just for people who and uh, care on about the that sort of on 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 the flip side, I can't wait to play games that are like that just look better on a computer. Money. To be authentic. Like, I, I can't wait to play Skyward Sword in 1080p. <laughs> the, oh, yeah. The best game ever. <laughs> was, it e- was it even that good, honestly? No, it was not. Okay, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Neither was Ocarina of Time. <laughs> oh, oh, snap! Oh. I respect your, your opinion. Do do you guys fine. think? Do you guys honestly think um, Last Guardian's ever going to come? It will, but it's going to be another year. It's funny that you say that because <laughs> there's apparently some news about that, like that SCEA is like teasing some something, and it's apparently that. It's oh, been really? it's a, been fucking what eight years? I heard they scrapped the whole thing and started from scratch. Wow, I wouldn't doubt it. That's pretty nuts. That's that's the last thing I heard was that that they scrapped the whole thing. Started. God, I, w- I wonder. Wow. I wonder what made them do that. Made them go that far. I don't know. That they would start from scratch. If if that was the case, that is. I did. Um, I did want to ask you. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure they discovered that they 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 had less hardware limitations than they did originally, and so they want to make sure this thing can. Like, I don't know if you can not if you notice like very subtly at the original trailers, um, there is a slight bit of you know frame rate issues, uh, just a slight. I think do you, do I honestly you know think maybe I mean? their concepts weren't solid enough for what they wanted. You, maybe yeah, I, yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe they have a more fleshed out idea. To be, to be honest, dude, if they really cared about the frame rate. Shadow of the Colossus would not play like that on PS. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Well, <laughs> no. well they uh, they they said that um, Shadow of Colossus was actually kind of holding them back. I know, but they're like, yeah, dude. Um, uh, they said the PS2 was almost not enough manpower to keep it. Like, yeah. Well, I- I'm uh, honestly, I'm looking less forward to the game and more forward to like a documentary on the yeah. uh, the on the Me actual too. production of that I game. I want to know. Oh, what, I can't wait to what watch happened. That. Yeah, that and that that and uh, it's been what it's been what either seven or eight years now. Uh, well, yeah, Colossus came out in two thousand six. Yeah, and I remember Blast Story was announced in 06 too. Oh, Last Guardian. Yeah. Last Guardian. Yeah, Last Guardian. Sorry. At least the last story came out. <laughs> that was the yeah. last that was the last uh PS2 game I ever played with Shadow Colossus. Oh, wow. Ah, I can't believe it's been that long. I can't believe this console cycle is almost over. Well, can you give me an idea what Godhind's going to play like, Max? Uh All right. No, I can't because it's so different. It's it's not really. really yeah, it's not like anything else. Yeah, it's not like anything else. Okay, it, it, it's a beat 'em up, but okay. that's where the similarities between over the shoulder beat 'em up. Yeah, over the shoulder beat 'em up. Okay, so it's kind of like Mad World. Uh oh yeah, and uh, the people who worked on Mad World worked on God Hand, so yeah, Platinum Games. 
Well, no, it was Clover. Platinum wasn't ex- had Platinum, existed. Yeah, well, Clover became Platinum, right? Kind of. I mean, sort of. Cl- Clover was a was a. They have some team members from there. Yeah, because when when Clover disbanded, those team members from Capcom who were like honestly some of the best, the last best people to work at Capcom, uh, yeah. they left and they made their own studio. It was originally called Seeds, and then they got turned into Platinum, um, mm. and that's where all those people went. But. Yeah. So, Magfest was fun, mm-hmm. and and I got a new computer, and I've been playing a bunch of things, just sampling stuff. <laughs> nice. H- have you guys heard that game called Hell Yeah? Yeah, I've been playing that. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Arquito made that game. I love Arquito games. What else did they make? Big Bang Mini on oh, they the did. DS. Um, they also did jump and um the, there's an iphone game that they did a pretty decent job with oh. um i think it was called uh S- super oh wait, no uh it was called pix and love and rush or something like that oh okay pixel pixel yeah it's like pixel it's the, you play Is as it... that same cat mcpixel yeah um it's, I think uh, it's just called Pixel. Yeah, it's just oh, called okay. Ar- Arcade. Uh, on, on, on iPhone, it's different. Pixel uh, Rush or something like that. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, let me look it up. Do you like that game, Max? Hell yeah. Uh, you know what? It's interesting in concept. I, I think on some aesthetic side, I have a few problems with it. But uh, I, do like, I do like the idea of like when you find a... a particular monster that you have to destroy that you have to like finish it off with this quick mini game i think that's super cool yo matt uh yeah. you can play droid games right yes okay let me link you this um but i think it's a uh, i think also it's really busy like the <laughs> yeah it is visually uh, it's super uh, busy honestly and, matt try this game out um and I, I think I, I think it's a little too much at times, but it, it's super dense. Pasta it's su- games, it's, never it's, mind. It's super dense, and I, I like I. Some of the things don't clash well. Like I, there's this weird sort of. I understand. I, I first I. I like put it up to the fact that it's like okay, you're in hell and things are kind of chaotic, so you know you're gonna have a lot of crazy crap happening, but. Uh, I don't know. There's something there's something off about it visually that I can't quite pick up on. Uh, but it, it's cool. It has some cool ideas. Never mind. I'm thinking of a different company. But <laughs> Ar- <laughs> but Arquito did a, some fun games though. They did. They did, do, they, they did jump. And they did Big Bang Mini. Yeah, they did do Big Bang Mini. Uh, that sounds adorable. <laughs> <laughs> It's, imagining big bang it, it's really it's really fun it's like you control it's a shmup that you actually control fireworks with with like flicks you mean chinese fire powder yeah yes <laughs> chinese fire powder <laughs> <laughs> max do you want to divulge your computer specs oh hold on one second taking sorry it, i, ha- I had to put I had to... when, okay. when he's done divulging his computer specs, can you give them an idea of what you're going to build me? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Um, I can't wait to finally play Steam games with you guys. We're going to have a legit I... cast going again. <laughs> I know, that's true. Yeah, you'll be able... Oh my god, you'll be able to play games with us. I can't... Well, I'm, uh, dude, uh, Matt was telling me how you guys played Borderlands two for like three hours yeah i i'm gonna be able to join you yes just give me some time to level up of course yeah no we didn't we didn't get like super far so you you'll you'll be able to get to where we are soon enough we're like around what are we are we around like level 10 kelly i think so yeah are add-ons really cheap on steam uh wait add-ons yeah like Like DLC. dlc yeah it's the same, whatever yeah, they charge. Same. Really? Yeah. yeah but, they go, but the sales, full retail you know. game is actually cheaper, though, right? Uh, well, I mean, it, mm. it, the, honestly, it's only no. cheaper when it's on sale. Like yeah, when they have sales. Really, oh, okay. Sale. So is it like 
is it still like forty? Yeah, I mean things will. Okay, forty is good though. It yeah, will, I, it's better than sixty. It will dive down quick. It will. Okay, cool. You just like, gotta either get, way, I'm down to buy it at forty. I don't. You gotta care. get over the hump of if you want to buy something at full price. It you have to you can't you just can't get mad later on and be like oh look it went on sale because it's it always happens. It actually is sixty dollars. Yeah. All right See? now. Yeah, so Green Man but Gaming. There's vo- vouchers. Dude, wait, around. like, wait, like. Around Christmas, it was forty. Hey, no, I'm telling you, dude. Like, <laughs> just it, yeah, just like blink and <laughs> check it. <laughs> Sales run okay. rampant, dude. Okay, it's can't wait. Crazy. I'm gonna play. Like, I'm just most excited to play Dust Force. Oh yeah. Oh and really? All, and all, yeah. Yeah, James has really been wanting to play that game badly. <laughs> Cause like I played it at uh, like this this thing my friend Carlos does called Game Night. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, it was really fun. We played it off an Xbox controller, and on a big screen, and it was it was really fun. It was exact. It's like almost everything I've ever wanted, and I was pissed off at the dude, cause it was like you asshole. You got this right on your first time. <laughs> this was his first time programming a game. And he was he only did it just to learn how to program. He made Dust Force just to learn how to program. That that makes I hope that I can make something that good. Yeah. Oh you will. I I wonder what uh language he's using or uh, I wonder what like Um, I wouldn't doubt that it's uh uh, um, no, I mean, I think it, I think it was mixed. Media. I, I, I wouldn't doubt that it's like um, mixed media. Thanks for humoring. <laughs> mixed m- multimedia fusion. Oh, I I, I wouldn't doubt that's multimedia fusion. You that would know? be awesome. I tried using some multimedia fusion. I need to I need to learn some more programming before I can actually start making stuff with that. Because there were some like I started making stuff in there I actually made an an, an animated a sprite mm. uh, but I ran into some roadblocks when it came to collision detect uh, detection and I was just like oh what the fuck is going on why is I, this doing this I hear unity engines pretty easy to program in yeah I'm gonna try that out I'm gonna make a 2d game in there and it's not gonna be flash based I, 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 I know unity is typically used for actually like FPS kind of styled games yeah but it, it can do 2D. Cool. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy Unity games out there. Awesome. Um, but, uh, Unity! Unity. So, I've just been trying out a little, like, different stuff on the computer. I, and, uh, I tried, uh, what else? I still can't play Walking, can't play Walking Dead. I can't play Walking Dead because Windows 8 sucks. You hear that, everybody? Windows 8 sucks. <laughs> It's it's well, not for well, it's not for people who actually like pl- using a PC. It's for people who don't know how PCs actually work. I have a question, it's... Max. Matt, do you beg to differ? No, no, no. Uh, well, I, here's here's my question. Really okay. Quick. Yeah. Can you not run Walking Dead? I can't run Walking Dead does at it, all. Does it crash when you click it? Like when you no, start? No, it it straight up doesn't start. Okay. Yeah. Here's my second. Cause... Here's my second question. Yeah. Do you have a 360 controller plugged into it? No, I don't. Then holy shit. I don't know what's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, like, seriously, though, I mean, if you do like Windows 8, I guess that's fine. If it works for you, but it just does not work for me. And I need to go back to 7 as soon as possible. Yeah, you should go back to 7 before you start installing everything. <laughs> I know it's an, it's unfortunate I installed so much. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I was gonna to, say, oh, I thought I thought you had gone back already, no, knowing how many games you've been playing. No, because because when they built my computer, by the way, I wanna I wanna rep them because they're just starting up in terms of uh, building computers. MK Byte B Y T E, go to mkbyte.com and um, you know they're just starting up their company, and what they built was was pretty impressive. Uh, it just it's just missing a few things, but they're going to be installing them soon. Are they um local to you? Yeah, they're local to me. They're in uh, okay. Bridgeport. They're in Bridgeport, Connecticut. So if you're yeah. nearby and you need a computer built, 
just talk to uh, Tobin and and Dave. They're really nice guys, and uh, yeah, dope. They uh, they built me a pretty sick machine. Um, pretty so, dope. Yeah, one that you can be proud. Exactly. To I, run I can Windows run. 7. How much? How much <laughs> did you spend? Uh, I won't divulge that information. Can but... you shoot me a link or give me a punch? Like message me. Uh, okay. So, all together, it was this much. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I sold my... I'm selling my old computer to a friend for... For, uh... A pretty good price, I think. Matt's um, putting my shit together for about 400 I know. That's why I... I yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So, well, we'll talk about that later. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. So... Uh, you know, I've been just trying stuff on there, playing Borderlands with you guys. It's been super fun. Um, but we, uh, we had recordings, but I messed up. Just yeah, to, dude. Just to let everyone know, dude. That know. Reco- how mu- How big was that file after we recorded? Sixty-three gigs. Sixty-five gigs. Sixty. That's insane. With, e- and there was three audio streams going on at one time. Oh, and those so that's were fine. each. Two gigs. That's crazy. So that was an extra six gigs of audio. Oh my god! But last night Kelly was on while I was testing some stuff, and I fixed all the problems. So we might have lost that session. You're welcome. Yeah, Kelly helped me. She was like, "This is all you got to do," and I was like, "Damn it! Should have asked you sooner." <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, f- I fixed it, Max. So awesome. Very good. Very good. Uh, very good. So is that is will that be uploaded or is it good to go for next time? It's good to go for next time. Okay. Um, yeah. Sweet. the The only problem, whenever I play, is I have the game sound really low because I just like talking to you guys. So oh, it's yeah, up to you. Here. I follow you guys. Oh. I follow whoever is <laughs> leading the battle. Oh, so if if someone's like, oh, "I need help," and I'm, I'm like, "Where?" It's because <laughs> the sound was low. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Max, you sound tired. Oh, oh no, I just yawned. I'm I'm okay actually. I'm not that tired. Um, but yeah. So, what about you, Matt? What have you been playing? Actually, not that much. Um been mostly tinkering with this the computer stuff with the uh, code the transcoding and I started this Java <coughs> class tinkering around with that and oh man I feel bad why I was supposed to call Gerard oh it's all right damn I keep forgetting to hit him up before <laughs> it's okay the podcast we'll, we'll get him in oh um, yeah someday Max actually now that you did mention a game not like now a game has popped into my mind. I've been playing Dragon's Dogma. Oh, good. Uh, that game is wild. <laughs> Compared to Dark Souls, how does that stuck up as far as gameplay-wise? I, I used to think that they were almost in the same... They're, they're two different beasts, dude. Yeah, they are two different beasts. <laughs> Speaking of which, James, dude. Dark Souls is only like $20. I know it is. <laughs> for PC. <laughs> Hey James, you you should totally do. <laughs> I can buy it for three sixty for twenty bucks no, too. No, you should totally yeah. kill yourself and play it. No, play it on the PC. Yeah, play it on the PC, yeah. dude. Yeah, okay. the the, the three sixty version is the lesser of the three versions. Uh, I know it's gimped. Oh, it's the lesser. No, no, yeah, it's the lessest of the three versions. The it's the least. The it's lessest. The le- it's the leastest. Um, Java's cool. That's about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've been just, just programming just and stuff. Been dicking around in Java. Cool. It's funny. Yeah, I, didn't, so, I didn't know they had their dude. What? Let's make let's make that uh, that game idea I had with the drunk text message. Oh yeah. Um, I was actually really surprised. Uh, Have I told you guys that game idea? Uh, no. No, but I'm listening. Yeah. You okay. Told, you told I, me I, I, okay. I'm listening. I, I wanted to make a game. Where it would play like a rhythm game, but you're actually sending a drunk text message, and it would just get 
worse and worse as you get drunk and we get harder that way. Actually, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> and, uh, uh, like, when you win or lose, you're going to see something bad. <laughs> so, like, when you win, it's going to say, good job, you came off sad and desperate. Oh, God. Oh, oh, and, God. and then when you lose, it's going to be like, yeah, good job, you blacked out drunk. <laughs> you could, dude, for you, James, you could, if you just, like, sat down and messed with some, pro- I mean, you could do it, dude. Yeah, I want to. I want to make games like that. That sounds cool. Well, it's at least like learning in JavaScript. I think we could do that with an iPhone and <laughs> Droids. RPG Maker. <laughs> I feel so stupid that I bought that. It still isn't working on my PS2 Slim. <laughs> like it's weird what happens. Like I can hear the game's music run after the PS, the PlayStation logo. Well, loads. you're supposed to make the game. I can't fucking <laughs> see what I'm doing. There's, exactly. no, there's nothing game, game. going on. <laughs> like, no, I, like I hear the music, but they, they like I can't hear the intro. Or I mean, I can hear the intro. I can't see the intro. <laughs> um, I'm supposed to debug the shit out of that too. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, other than that, I haven't pl- been playing anything either. Okay. That's, that's about it. Oh, Borderlands with you guys. Oh uh, yeah. No, that game is so fun. Yeah, oh it's crazy fun. Yeah, it might be like I know it's it might be one of my fa- it's probably my favorite first person shooter, and I know it's not it's not just a first person shooter, but oh no, but it is still it, it is, is an FPS, but it's and so it much is more. Fun. It's so good. It's Aww. it's yeah. it's like honestly, that's like they've made uh, a cooperative FPS the right way. I'm glad it's successful. I'm glad it, it's putting Gearbox on the map. And and I'm glad Anthony did the writing. Yeah. It was, it's <laughs> yeah. funny you say that. When we were playing it, we were we were basically praising slash blaming Anthony for everything in the game. That we... <laughs> Things that he clearly wasn't responsible yeah. for. Too. It's like, damn it, Anthony, why? Yeah, so we're going to continue That's doing funny. that. That's funny. Yeah, I'll gladly... <laughs> <laughs> contribute to that. Damn it, Anthony. Uh, I, it was also good because uh, uh, we were all female characters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, <That's right. laughs> don't worry. I'll break the cycle. I have uh, the character. I'm just waiting for you guys to get a couple more levels. Then I'll switch to my to my other guy. Okay, cool. I forgot what the hell he, his can, name was. Can you, can you customize the shit of how they look? You Colors? can, actually. Yes. Yeah. You can. You can okay. Which I was surprised by. I didn't realize. Dude, I, I, I will, I'm getting. I'm getting so many ideas on how I want to like customize them now. You can do that in the first one too. Even with like, exce- I know you could accessorize it uh, through color, but I didn't realize you could give him like like physical changes and accessories. Wait, you I wanna, can do that. I, I, I want to well, make a sniper no, well, that looks like two? an emo kid. Yeah, and in two, you can like change their actual shape of their hair and what they're wearing and shit. Oh, I missed that. Yeah. I'm sure you c- you can do that anywhere. But at the same time, it's like, oh wow, customization is crazy. So this is crazy. This is crazy. Random question, Matt. Yeah. Have you heard that band, Little Dragon? It sounds familiar. They're really dope. There's a lot of bands. Dude, there's this like my roommate. His little brothers have a band. They're called the Bots. Yeah, you told me the, about him. They play with Dillinger. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, they they recently have been playing with Kimia Dawson. The Dillinger Escape Plan. Yeah. Just make like sure. well, this band. The <laughs> wow, Bots, I I, and... I almost lost my mind right now when you said that, Kelly. Why? <laughs> Part of me was like. Kelly a fan. You know the Dillinger Escape Kelly Plan? Is Kelly a fan of the Dillinger Escape uh, Plan? Are you a fan of no, Dillinger? Jesus Christ. I, I, I know how she knows it, because when... Is it through Frankie? No, it's a band. I just know the name, because it's a band, and I'm receptive to music. I don't know. I just... Ah, awesome. I don't know where I got it from. It's Dude, dope. Osmosis. I... <laughs> Maybe it was from Frank, but I... Or, I could have sworn well, Vegas 64 that... mentioned it. I know uh, that... That Somewhere, Osmosis. Isn't... I listened to well, them and, yeah. Well, uh, Dillinger's uh, song Panasonic Youth is on Guitar Freaks. 
There you I, go. I don't know, James, if that's like legitly on there or if someone just like out of that. No, it's legitimately on there. Oh, okay. Like the the music video comes up and everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, well, I played the I played Dillinger Escape Plan songs on Guitar Freaks at Super Arcade in Walnut, and it, this arc, this arcade is mostly known for its fighters. So I pissed off everybody. That thing is obnoxiously loud. <laughs> I um yeah. Oh, I've seen this video before. Yeah. I've I been... played that. Yeah, that song is blasting the shit out of it. Yeah, and like yeah, Matt's seen me play Panasonic Youth in that fucking arcade, right? I've seen Panasonic Youth in my face because I've seen them like five times. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> Wait, dude, Max... I need to go to a Dillinger show with you one day, dude. Max, have you seen this because of Frank? Yes. Really? That's yeah. great. Yeah, he showed you... me. He showed me so many videos. I can imagine. Uh, which Frank? I don't uh, know him, do uh, I? No. Uh, no, actually, you... He, you do, because he comments on things. <laughs> he's the one... Really? Who, he's the one who said that he was the one <laughs> who I was having an argument about Dark Souls with. <laughs> That's and it, it, But it wasn't him at all. He was just... No. And then he put up the video to Anal Cunt, and I was just like, oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, wow. He's Mr. <laughs> Ceramic Skin. Yes. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what's going on, but all right. Well, look look at our videos and then look the at the comments. comments. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I feel bad. Do you even, even watch our own videos? Yeah. Oh, James, you dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> I... <laughs> Just kidding. I've been busy, dude. Okay. No, that's good. That it's means okay. that we're up one like and favorite than I thought we were. <laughs> oh, oh look. I haven't been liking or favoriting. Just like, oh, I'm am I the only I've, tool? I've, I've, doing I've, it? Been, no, I've been, I've doing been it too. liking and favoriting. I I I do it every now and then, but I'm not really doing it. So I ca- I honestly I I specifically do it for the podcast. Let's um cut all this talk out. I don't want people. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. To think that oh these Matt, guys are just... Matt, <laughs> yeah we should. Dude, Matt, I told you I was gonna let it all hang out tonight. <laughs> I mean, like, I won't give a fuck about what I'm going to say. No, I know. That's fine. All right, That's man. fine. You're that... the, the boss. You're the boss. Am I really? That's I'm not really. You're the best. You're the... <laughs> the boss. You're the best. Right, boss. I'm the best. Swag, 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 swag. Can you... Yeah, I don't know. What? I wish I, I wish I had a friend that could sound like a an old burglar crony. Right, boss. Right, boss. <laughs> were you yeah. were you gonna say if one of us could sound like that? that yeah, you were why not? Ask him like, can you talk to me like that? Someone or can do that. Hey. And I can talk like it is. Dude, that's so <laughs> up. I can listen to that all day. Yo, Kelly, that's oh. hot. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm not gonna lie. What up? Kelly looks pretty hot in this photo. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new photo? <laughs> Never new mind. Photo. Never mind. Oh god. Uh, we have derailed. I actually did update my cosplay.com account. <laughs> so. We have derailed. Oh. <laughs> have you guys played Sword and Sorcery EP? I did. I, 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 in the beginning, but I feel kind of yeah, stuck. Yeah, I, I'm stuck because I have to wait for the moon. Oh, uh, that means. Like, I, I, like, okay, there's a part in the game where you have to either wait for the new moon to show up, like, you literally have to wait till the new moon on the real sky is fucking <laughs> happening, or you can cheat and, like, fucking adjust the, you know, your date. Oh, really? But... Um, the game will be like the game will actually call you out on it and say like you're a fucking cheater, <laughs> but <laughs> um, that's funny. But like, yeah, you either have to wait for like a a new moon or like pretty much the like pretty much when there's no moon, uh, and and uh, like one or the other stage opens up. 
I get it. And that, that's honestly why I've put it down forever, because I'm just... I don't know what the fuck shit's happening. <laughs> Twilight New Moon. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, Remember, I mean... Swords wait. and Sorcerer EP is a dope game. Just I don't even know that if I out own there. that. I think I own that. I got it from the Android Humble Bundle. Nice. I had it on Steam, but then I was like, oh, I got this on the phone. I it's can... part rhythm game, part fi- uh, part fighter, part just like... Shark just, uh, fighter? What? It, it's part like, I don't know, like, the boss fights play like Punch-Out sort of. Oh yeah, I know, I saw my sister play against this bear that was going... Eh, 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 or something like that. Oh yeah, that's like the first guy. <laughs> I watched that for like... I told her not to fight it because I wanted to hear him just go... Eh, 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 for like an hour. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. No. I, no, I know what you're Dude, talking about. The first boss in that game is just this bear that just keeps going. It's like singing a song to itself and it's just going. So, uh, <laughs> Swords and Sorcery is one of the first, one of the few games on my phone that I actually paid for. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Because, like, I was like, you know what? They're an indie. They're an indie. They're indie guys, you know? They deserve it. And it's a great game. Let's see here. <laughs> I was like, don't fight him! I need to listen to this for a very <laughs> long time. Oh, and the composer also did the soundtrack of Indie Game, the movie. Oh, dope. Oh, oh, yeah. Know. What was his name? Jim Guthrie. Guthrie. Wow, I feel like I've heard him somewhere else, too. Right? I, I, that's why I looked him up, but I don't. That's the only thing I see that's jumping out to me. Oh. But yeah, well, that name sounds super familiar, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's just because I heard that he did the What was his name, though? Guthrie? Jim, Jim Guthrie. Yeah. Jim Guthrie, yeah. It sounds familiar to me because me and Matt listen to a guy named Guthrie Govin. Guthrie Govin. Hmm. He's too gnarly he's a, for this world. He's, he's a really crazy good guitarist that... <laughs> yeah. Only one does, can dream. Yeah. Oh. Super slick with jazz. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway, um, is there anything else we want to talk about, like news-wise? Or? Well, yeah, oh yeah, but remember we uh, we have to answer the question from oh, last time. Shit, oh, yeah, that's right. yeah. I think you said that because I was okay. going to say that. Okay, Jedi four twenty one. Mail Look. time. Here's the mail. Ro- it never fails. Yo. It makes James it makes wants me to write. whale. When I stale something whale. Let's bail. Mail. Let's bail. <laughs> Let's That's good. Bail. That was a good one. I'm All sorry right. that we failed. <laughs> <laughs> but go on. Okay, yo, Rob. <laughs> let me, we with, thought, we let thought me, about this for a long time. <laughs> we Dude, did. Okay, let me just straight up say, all right, yo, Rob, with our with your movie question, best movie I saw this year, actually recommended from Frank Howley. And, uh, like, I, I always follow Frank's Facebook post when he talks about movies, right? Fucking old boy, on Netflix is the best movie I saw this year. Old boy's awesome. Old boy and sympathy for Mr. Vengeance was really really good. Um, the best feel good movie that I saw this year was Sunny. It's also Korean. It's ta- it takes place in the eighties. This uh, this lady is like a housewife, and she flashbacks to when she had more fun in high school and was just a little more reckless. Cool, and it's it's really, I, I love Sunny. You guys should watch that. It's really fun. I will check it out now. Yeah. The second part, James, is what are your favorite directors or films of all time? Favorite directors are Michelle Gondry for Eternal Sunshine. The that was like some really fucking trippy, lucid shit. Um, another great director. I mean, who doesn't love Spielberg? Honestly, yeah. Like, his first movie that that fool ever did, where there's, like, no dialogue and he's getting traced by that, like, a truck driver. That, oh, Duel. That movie's pretty Duel, rad. Duel. Duel. Okay, I fucking... Yeah, I need to watch that again. Um, What's your favorite? Not great. Favorite? Favorite? Great and it favorite have, are different. It, honestly, favorite would have to be Michelle, Michelle Gondry. 
because I loved his shit with Diving Bell and the Butterfly, and I loved his shit with Eternal Sunshine. Okay. And I loved his shit with John Malkovich, dude. Dope. Awesome. Who wants to go next? If Kelly. you want games, from, uh, games. <laughs> wow, <laughs> out of my brain. Movie. Did he want movies that, books. that we saw, or okay. he didn't specify. First, right? first part says games. You s- <laughs> games. I'm so <laughs> Okay, oh my Matt, gosh, go. I'm sorry. It's okay. it's okay. Favorite films of the past year and your favorite film or director of all time. Okay, um... I'm gonna take that to mean movies that came out in 2012. And sure, also, yeah. I can't... I can't remember, like, movies that I saw that didn't come out this year. Yeah, that's fine. But okay, I saw, best like... Movie I, oh, okay. go, yeah, go ahead, James. Do you want to... Best movie... Best movie that I saw that came out this year was God Bless America. I meant to watch that. It's, yeah, I mean, like, I like black comedy. It's pretty dark. If you like watching assholes get killed. That's basically what that movie is. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they just kill assholes left and right. It's awesome. Mm. Like, the dude, pretty, like, yeah, you guys gotta see that movie. God Bless America on Netflix. It's That's available. Bad. Cool. Yeah, it came out in 2012, too. All right. Yeah. So now that we have it to set the rules. It, it was actually filmed, like, some parts were filmed around Eagle Rock, and a lot of it was in Hollywood. Yeah, they cool. always film in Oh, and Pasadena. Eagle Rock and Pasadena, too. Yeah. yeah, they always film around there. Um. All right, so, Kelly, now okay. that we've set that rule. Um, I've seen maybe, like, eight movies this year, okay. two of which had Paranorm in the title. <laughs> uh, I okay. wonder which one. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Did you see Porter Norman? <laughs> yes, I did. Christ. Cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this is so tough. You know what? I'll say, I'll say my movie of the year was Jab Tak Hai John, which was Yash Chopra's final movie film that he directed before he died he died this year um uh, and i think it was released after okay. his death okay wait 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 i'm sorry i want i need to change my answer what but okay go- is, i'm sorry kelly I'm sorry sorry my favorite movie that i saw this year was moonrise kingdom oh i want to see that wes anderson actually directed it he's the director of fantastic mr fox um life aquatic Royal Tenenbaums, and yeah. Cool. cool. It's a really cute movie, but yeah. Okay, go on, okay. Kelly. Sorry. It's okay. Um. So, yeah, I saw, I actually saw that in theaters, and uh, I, I think I was one of two white people in that in that movie theater who saw Job Talk Hai John, but it's, obviously it's a Hindi film, um, I enjoy Bollywood movies a lot, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge movie goer. I also honorable mentions. I really, I I really liked Brave. I know a lot of people were kind of had a lukewarm mm-hmm. perception towards it. I really liked Brave and um, Indie Game the movie, excellent. Yeah, um, I, I mean, I saw that at his, at his, I screened it. Yeah, like, that was... like I got to ask like the director's Q and A. Oh shit, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, okay? that's a great movie. Yeah, fine. right. I want to watch it again, and I don't. I don't typically watch movies more than once. Me um, neither. I need to watch it still. I I think I want to watch Moonrise and Kingdom again. But yeah. Mm. The mic. Um, have you Have you guys heard or seen any of thing of Moonrise Kingdom? I have no idea. I Matt? I've seen the trailer, but. No, I told you I haven't seen. Okay. I just know his other work. So you know the trailer, Max, huh? Yeah, I want to see it. Because I've seen his other films and I like them, so... Yeah, it's okay. pretty nice. I'm going to check it out regardless. Good, good. So yeah. indie game for you, Kelly? No, Job Talk Hi John is my okay. favorite. Job uh, not, Talk maybe Hi not, John. Like, it's not, yeah, it means something like... Can you link me later? Uh, sure. Cool. Uh, it's I'll definitely a... check it out. 
No, you don't have to do that. <laughs> I want to, dude. Fool. Okay, I don't know, because Bollywood is kind of an acquired taste. Psh, I don't care. I All like right. Bollywood. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean, remember we were, like, we were watching some Bollywood together? Like, we were, you shared me, uh, shared some links from... That's right. Yeah, the one where the dude's slaying the horse. Oh, that's not Bollywood. I know that's not <laughs> Bollywood, but I, I was appreciating <laughs> some of the songs in there. I don't get it twisted. I know that's not Bollywood, but I, I was appreciating some of the songs in there. <laughs> oh, man. You, actually, dude, we saw that movie this past year, and... We talked about it on the podcast. Yeah, yeah we talked no, about it on the podcast. That's right, we, we did. did. I forgot about that. that. Oh my god, that was a f- no. You know what? That was before we talked about it during the podcast that weren't that aren't up, right? Probably. So that's right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. By the way, SoundCloud. Kelly, are are the Bollywood movies you watch subbed? Yeah, of course. All right, dope. Yeah, Actually, like, dude, the... I'm down to watch. The second Bollywood movie I ever watched did not have subtitles, and I still oh. watched the whole thing. That's awesome. I watched, like, a little plot summary of the first half, mm-hmm. and then I watched the movie, and I could kind of I'd figure out what was happening. And they, like, they slip in English in there, too. I was That's half, awesome. I was half expecting Kelly to say right now. And you know what? By the end of the film, I think I, I thought I knew how to speak Bollywood. Like, yeah, like... I had the same thought. <laughs> I know how to speak their language. <laughs> That's my. <laughs> Is that your Hindi? Can you... That's my Hindi. Can nice. you say "Holy Guacamole" in Hindi? <laughs> yes, dude. Do I... it. Yeah. No. How would you? Okay, no. though. You know, whenever I try to do an Indian accent, I can't. I can't do it. It's funny. I. You it's can't not, do not... it. Yeah, I can't. I just the sound off. Did I even sound close? Yeah, that was close. <laughs> but were you gonna say you sound more racist than you think you want to sound? Yeah, like I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, don't I know. I know what you mean. Like, I know what you mean. Trust me. Italian, because whatever. Who cares about those guineas? But <laughs> 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 oh god, that was bad. That was awesome. Thank you, Kelly. My dad calls me a guinea, so that's awesome. There you go, because I'm half, and he's not. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Filipinos go for go by flip. Did you know what flip stood for? No, Funny little island people. I heard fucking little island people, but that works oh, just as Jesus well. Jesus Christ! I, I only heard funny, dude. I don't know. If, where'd yeah, you, hear, yeah. where'd you hear that one? From John, actually. Dude, that one is that one's yeah. brutal. Yeah. All right. That's brutal, fucking dude. little island people. That's brutal. That's brutal, man. It's weird that, when that makes it sound so much worse, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that fucking, fucking from funny, yeah. Jeez. It's funny when you're mixed. Well, I'm still a hundred percent white, but it's funny when your parents, like one it's of your fun- parents, makes like calls you things that that they're not. It's weird. <laughs> it's like, yeah, created it's... this. <laughs> uh, Shut up. I don't know. I feel funny <laughs> being like. Basically, a hundred percent Filipino and basically a hundred percent whitewashed. <laughs> it's okay, James. Yeah, it must suck because it's like you you feel sort of disconnected. Yeah, here, but also. No, but at the more same so... time, like I know I'm American more than anything, you know. So it's like, yeah, it's like well, I'm speaking English, and it's weird to say, but that's my native tongue. That's oh, fine, dude. You're born here. You know? Yeah. You're American, man. Yep. Honestly, honestly, I think a lot, I think, I think super, like, super people who are super prideful of their culture, I think they're very misguided in a lot of ways. I think. Hey, I mean, when it's all said and done, I just see myself as a citizen of the world, you know? Exactly. And it comes down to that. Well... <laughs> what was back, that about? Back on the, the back on topic. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> we severely derailed that one. Yeah, shit. 
Okay. Yeah, I drove that. I drove that so one. So my fa- the favorite directors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Time. Okay. Um, he is. You know, it's funny. A lot of my favorite American movies, I don't even know who directed them. That's what are What are some of your favorite American movies? American. That's another good um, Dude, just tell me what movies it's you like. Well, it's embarrassing. Well, I'm, no, don't be well, embarrassed. I, be this shit right now, I anyway. fail at movies. American I like Tale? Nightmare Before Christmas, and I, it's okay. like okay, but Tim I can't Bur- say I can't say Tim Burton's my favorite director because that's that's like a loaded Dude, gun. Th- that's, <laughs> that's, fuck that. I like Tim Burton. <laughs> okay, I like did Tim you Burton. See, did you like on. James and the Giant Peach? A... I did. Oh, I fucking love James. <laughs> and the Giant Peach. Hold on, hold on, back it up, back it up. Back when I was a fat kid as Kelly. a kid, when I was a little fat kid, the, I got the nickname James the <laughs> Giant said, Peach. Kelly, you said that's like a loaded gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, because like a lot of people will probably that's hate on fucking on Tim Burton. Stuff. Yeah. People oh. hate on like, a lot of shit, but fuck it's people. It's alright, it's alright. I, mean, I haven't seen any of his new movies, really. Like, the last movie I saw was probably Corpse Bride, and I, I thought Corpse it was okay. Corpse Bride was terrible. It was all yeah. right when I saw it. Was it was okay. Okay. I can't remember. Did you I, watch I can't it, James? Remember. Honestly, honestly, I loved Coraline. Fucking loved that Coraline. That was Tim Burton. No, I think that, so. that that wasn't Tim. That Burton. wasn't Tim it Burton. Wasn't Tim Burton. <laughs> wow. no, that wasn't Tim Burton. <laughs> it, just, it just it just looks. Yeah, like, it wasn't Tim Burton. It had the same stop motion art style. Who was? Uh, he- the... he- Henry Selleck directed that, and he well, wrote it. Henry Selleck is the shit. Uh, and Neil Gaiman wrote it. Oh, oh. yeah, I forgot about oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah, he well, he wrote the book. Did not did not know that. Yeah. Actually, oh, he also directed James and the Giant Peach. And the Nightmare Before Christmas. Wait, what? Not Tim Burton? Tim Burton was just like the. What was what did the he? Fuck, what the fuck did Tim Burton do? Writing the probably, coattails? Oh, he was probably... in, he was in charge of Spirals. <laughs> I, for a second, I thought you were like. I, I was too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Did I thought he was probably the art director or something. It originated in a poem written by Tim Burton. Oh, oh. how did the poem? It. How did the poem know. go? Holy sh- It was probably the beginning. It was probably poem. "Twas the Night Before Christmas." That's all I got. What do you right. know? I learned. <laughs> wow. And all through all the house. Time, I thought that Tim Burton was the director, but he it, the me story too. is just by him, I and mean, it was me, produced by him. Oh, yeah, so, me too. Uh, he was so pre- okay. Henry Selleck Henry is the shit. Henry Selleck shit, directed The Nightmare Before Christmas, James and the Giant Peach, and Coraline. He is the shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, he's the Don't. shit. He's okay. He's going to go up there too. I feel but better. Michelle, Gond- <laughs> Michelle Gondry is still my favorite director. That's fine, dude. Don't conform to peer pressure. <laughs> he directed The Green Hornet. Michelle Gondry. That's so weird. I know. Yeah, that is pretty weird. I never watched Green Hornet though. I, it's it's I, pretty it's, bad. It's, yeah, it, I, it's pretty. I just campy. watched it because of um. Oh, holy shit! I know why you Zhao. watched it. Zhao, yeah. Zhao. Oh, holy Zhao. shit! What's Harold. His name? Um, his Harold. Yeah, no, <laughs> I know. He looks like Jay the Chow. Guy. He looks like Jay the Chow. Guy. Oh my god, I forgot. Jay Chow second there yeah the Oof. fucking the asian man of every girl's dream yeah i wouldn't say my dream but dude there if not there wasn't one there was never any asian chick that i've never had that i've met that didn't fucking love this shit out of jay chow really he's not that attractive every korean japanese vietnamese i only know him I know. from the green horror i don't know what else he did dude J. Chow was also in that one ninja movie. Yeah, he's that a singer. One, that one ninja yeah. movie. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> Which really one? dope. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one, two, no, or three. No, fucking dude, come on. Okay, <laughs> it, was, it was a modern. It was a modern ninja movie that was done really well. Do you know what I'm talking about, Kelly? No. Initial uh, D. He wasn't initial D. Ocean D. Heaven. Because he was. He was an initial. No. He was Takumi in Initial D. Curse of the Golden Flower? Uh, no. Kung Fu um, Dunk? Uh, let me fucking IMDB J. Chow real I'm quick. Looking at his films. I'm looking at his films. There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of Kung Fu Dunk. <laughs> 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 Portrayed as a Kung Fu student and dunking <laughs> prodigy. <laughs> oh. 
There's an oh man, it's hard oh. for me to choose like my favorite movie this year because I also saw I I was a, like I am a cyborg and that's okay. Oh, I want to see that. <sighs> Have you seen my sassy girl? No, I haven't. That is that's Korean. It's really good. I recommend it. Have you guys that's seen Initial D? <laughs> Wow, no, we're really I... getting off this traffic. <laughs> Dude, just what, fucking what, roll with it. What, we'll get back to the question. One time, I spent a week in my cousin's house in Arizona, and for three days he made me watch Initial D from start to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that. I watched that entire, all of them. Not even like, oh, here's just the first part. No, all the specials, everything. Oh, wow. I watched what? that entire. <laughs> <laughs> by the yeah. end I wanted to like part of me was like oh well I can't do this because I'm sleeping in the same room I might as well watch it I wanted to start drifting <laughs> <laughs> like the Asian I am dude <laughs> well you should have hung out with me in vivo dude this was already past this was like already in college years yeah but that was like I that's to... kind of yeah, that, yeah. When we hung, when we hung out with Vivo, that was like our high school days. I knew a guy named John Vivo, who was drifting cars since he was thirteen. Yeah, I just wanted to put. Uh... And he qualified for a drift tournament in a stock car. Yeah, and then he went to jail. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't. I know. He went on to doing NASCAR, NASCAR actually, and. When NASCAR was in its off season, he found his main squeeze in doing tattoo art. Yeah. Cool. So, what's your favorite director, <laughs> Kelly? Charity said, "Fucking Henry Selick." That's your final answer. I don't even know if she's there anymore. Henry. Kelly. Kelly. So, final... Oh, probably Karan Johar. Karan Johar. Karan Johar. He directed Cooch Cooch Hotahe, which is my favorite movie of all time. And I also he also directed Kao Ho Naho and Kabi you, Kushi Kabi Gam. And none of these you, words are making any, any sense to anyone. That's okay. Can you link what? me all of those? Because they all sound really <laughs> link awesome. Me all of them. <laughs> and, oh, and Kabi Alvida Na Kena, which I which is also really good and a later one. So yeah, probably Karan Johar. He's I like all his movies that I've seen. Dope. Um, but here's his wiki page. And Did he's you young. Guys... He's he's 40 now, and he's directed movies since 1998. Have you guys ever seen any really legit, like, ninja movies? Ninja movie? Uh... Uh, ninja Assassin, the best one. <laughs> okay, hold on, Kelly. Hold on. <laughs> Have you ever seen Duel to the Death? No. Okay. It, Duel to the Death is a high quality Chinese movie, and um, it's in Cantonese, and the whole movie is actually on YouTube. Uh, I'll shoot you guys a link if I can. Who directed Frank and Weenie? <laughs> Oh, I don't know about that. You know what? I'm just gonna tweet this video, and you guys just if you follow my Twitter. Like Ritter. there's a there's a dope fucking ninja movie that's just there for you. Okay. Tim Burton directed Frank and Laney. Okay. No wonder. <laughs> I wonder how many people. <laughs> well, think I will that... say the some of the best directors of this year are definitely Tim and Eric for their billion dollar movie. I was good. Oh, I was gonna say that and I forgot. Because Dobis is the best fucking music. Oh my song. god. Like, it's god. A, it's a, a good fucking song. Just, uh, I, I gotta say, they pushed some goddamn boundaries with Shrim. Uh, <laughs> goddamn, that was gross. <laughs> I still need to but, watch that movie with commentary. Yeah. I need to watch it in commentary. I still haven't seen that in commentary. Yeah, I have the Blu ray, just haven't. <laughs> Max, would you like to go next? Uh, sure. Um, as far as this year goes, I've seen a few things. 
I saw. Did I see the King's speech this year? I mean, I know that wasn't of 2012, though. I guess. I guess Tim and Eric, just because. Because they're like one of the few people who make me laugh. <laughs> That's and, awesome. I agree. And and because uh, honestly, <laughs> it, it, I mean, unless you're actually like, <laughs> unless you're actually a really clever writer. Most of everything else is just so fucking phoned in nowadays that it's not funny. And at least Tim and Eric are doing something <laughs> like. What was Johnny Depp's character in Tim and Eric again? Diamond uh, Di- Jack. Di- no, Diamond Jim. And Diamond it wasn't. Jim. It wasn't him. It was just a. It was a. Oh, it, <laughs> it was, was a lookalike. Look yeah. look yeah. Dude, that was so good. He smelled like him. <laughs> he he <laughs> yeah, smelled like, like Johnny Depp. <laughs> um. Oh, but... that you know what? You just remind me of something. Yeah. Uh, this this see we lost this. This sucks. But during the Borderlands stream, mm-hmm. Max, Ma- the three of us were just playing. Like, oh, let's do this, and they're like, let's handle this. And Max said, "Hell yeah!" And <laughs> I just like I just randomly asked him, "Hey, is that from Tim and Eric?" And Max like, I saw his mind explode right there. He was like, "Oh my god!" That's never, exactly. Never because... thought you would, anyone would ever get that reference. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you know that Tim and Eric yeah. brings everything together. <laughs> Dude, yeah, like all, I think me and all my best friends love Tim and Eric, and that's including you guys. Oh, Tim and Eric, Aww, yay. yeah, Tim and Eric just brings together. It's true. But what uh, is also your... destroys people too. <laughs> I feel like, oh man, we you don't like Tim and Eric? Fuck you! I just, uh, yeah, I don't know if we can ever be tight like that. Let it be known that on top of being some of the funniest people on there, they're some of the most despicable people I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> despicable? Uh, Go yeah. on. It just it, like they, they are. I, I would say that they are so brutal towards everybody. It's it's so funny. Yeah. Like there was this one sketch where they are making fun of. They are ripping jazz apart. It's oh yeah, it's so, like it's North, so. It should not be played around kids. Yeah, and... yeah. Kids, <laughs> kids don't like. Uh, oh, was it blues or was it blues or jazz? I forget. It was jazz. It was jazz. jazz. It was jazz. It's yeah. all like, they're like, yeah, like, oh, if you play, and we play jazz for the kids in the morning, and they are irritated they're and they're <laughs> agi- they they agitated and irritable. Nor should anyone play jazz around kids. <laughs> One, two, three, three. Dude, that's that's my favorite. Um, and it's so that's, PBS. That's yeah, no, that's that yes. string. That string of events that happens in that that is my fa- one of my favorite clips because that one part where Tim, my f- Tim blows it yeah. and it just goes Brang! oh I love that I love that so much. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds like a truck horn. yeah it dude that yeah. kills me and then like th- right. there's so many crazy before, things about before that skit we continue, before we continue with the movie list can we list off our favorite Tim and Eric skits oh yeah <laughs> okay uh, okay, this is my favorite. That's hard, man. Okay, okay, okay. My favorite. You guys remember? Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is that your oh fa- boy. Yeah. Is that your favorite? It's one of my favorites. All right. Um, Cinco urinal shower. Are we picking uh, one only? No, what? we're not just listing what if we off pick all of my one favorites. All-time favorite. Pick one. What, what's it? pick okay, one? I'll, pick the yeah. Just my just all-time pick up the favorite empty, is, is is when Will Forte loses his shit on Nightlife. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> Kelly. Mine is Tim's New Trick. Oh, that, that's so funny. Well, I don't know that one. Cat, it's oh, so funny. It, it's, the one, it's the one where... Is it, is it the beginning of a, one of their episodes? It is, Which yeah. turns into a yeah. cat? Yeah. 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 He, he turns into a cat, and then things go horribly wrong. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> him, him, like warping in and out and yeah, screaming. Exactly. Was, and and having Eric just go, um, <laughs> wait, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, just and, have... and, and the part where he warps back in, but he's the size of a cat and he's screaming. screaming. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. If I have to pick uh, one, if yeah, I really have to what? pick one to an Eric skit, it's Casey and his brother. Oh God, ah, oh, those are good too. Uh. I also like the one with Josh Groban. Oh, that's so good. It's, since it's part of Casey and his brother, uh, yeah. <laughs> Casey's dead now. But now I sing his songs. 
<laughs> I have I have, my all time favorite is 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 not even have Tim and Eric in it. Oh, I bet I know what it is. To say it. It, dude. No, I don't. I don't know. It's just <laughs> there's this this Cinco product. Oh, never mind, dude. Oh, Cinco Urino shower. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, there's <laughs> there is. I have no idea till this day why this makes me and my cousin we laugh all the time at this. No matter no matter if we're having a bad day or anything, if it's this, you know the. Um, the face jewelry, oh no, the, the <laughs> where, where yeah no, it, it's not even the product. It's you know how they're playing basketball and they're like right. It starts off yeah. with all these dudes playing basketball, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Oh, I got that job interview," and they're like, "What are you gonna do?" I know, I don't have a beard, I'm bald, oh. and then like <laughs> at the end they put jewels on his like this thing, this face mask, whatever. <laughs> they, they, they bedazzle his yeah face no, the beard. and then the line that kills me. Is they go, hey, come on, let's play basketball. And he goes, I can't, guys. I'm working. I got that job. And he's the janitor. Dude, I don't know why. But that but that, but that, that, com- that kills me, dude. Like, till this, I will never, I will never not be able to watch that and not laugh, dude. I know what you're talking about. That kills me, too. I got that job. Because he's, like, so bummed out. He's like, hey, guys, I can't. I'm working. Got that. I got that job. And he just, like... <laughs> <laughs> there's like there's too many levels of of shit going on that I cannot I cannot like handle it. Yeah, that's that's the thing about their humor is that there's it's a so layered. It like, is heavily layered, layered in, dude. Layered and not in in a very chaotic way. It's like <laughs> yeah. you have yeah. to be you have to be on your social cues and find. I feel like exactly. Yeah, that's. I, I think there's yeah. some. Of the, it's weird. I I honestly think there's some the. It's like one of the smartest. Sh- I, may, wow, this sounds kind of pretentious, but I think it's one of the smartest shows I've ever seen Dude. because it, it, you can you can just look at it and be like, "This looks like just a bunch of bullshit." It but does it's not. not. That's it's someone, not. Someone the- I was talking to who hates Tim and Eric ba- mm-hmm. basically described, but it's just random stuff. Like, he, yeah, he said, "Here, here's this pie," and it's like. That's what, like, when some people see it, that's all they see is just a bunch of random non sequitur shit. Like, that's not, doesn't have any merit to it other than shock value. But it's so much more than that. It yeah, is. it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I watched what, it. What and kills I'm, me? I'm about to die yeah, right what, now. I cannot. <sighs> you know what kills me the most with Oh Boy is pretty much, like, the fight with his brother before the fucking oh, random he, techno. When, when he's in the, uh,. It's so like, it's so like David, David. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, the, the, there's so many layers, dude. Like, yeah, you start diving into a backstory in your mind. Yeah, like, I... what are these characters? Do- like, it's it's. <laughs> what is a Max's favorite though? I, sorry, I don't have a job oh. with the state. Yeah, see, it's like too much, dude. I. It's so hard because I really like anything that spaghetti is in. I really like spaghetti. I but... hated. I hated cigarette. Oh, oh, cigarette juice. Yeah, that's so gross. Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, but there's also there's just one called Paul Rudd's computer. I oh, love that. Oh my god, Tane. <laughs> Tane? Yeah, Tane, Tane. Now Tane, I can get into. Yo, Paul Rudd. Paul, that was such a. Paul, have you ever seen that one, Kelly? I. <laughs> Here, l- l- let me let me see if I can get it for you. Because he um, goes computer. <laughs> bring up nude Tane. Nude Tane. Oh, yeah, look. Like, and then he's like, does that compute? Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, here you go, yeah, wait, no, I think I found it. And then he's like, oh. Yeah, oh. Yeah, I <laughs> found it. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a funny motherfucker. Oh, he is. God. Uh, but I think... Oh, man. I This is hard, because... I might say... Oh, God. I'm trying to think of an episode that I always go back and watch, because there's like always. I love the pretty much what was it the first episode with Umama? Oh God, Umama! That's Uma, season Uma, two. Umama, Uma, Uma, that's right. That's season two. Yeah, I think that's the second oh, episode season of two? season two. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's one episode. It's it. Oh, you know what? It's part of the Crimbus special, uh, where never saw the Crimbus special. Which we the Krim- still haven't watched. I haven't watched. Kelly. 
your birthday's coming up, Kelly. Uh, oh, no. Yes, and we're going to watch Crimba special for your birthday. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, but there's this one... There's this one dude they always bring on, and I'm pretty sure the only reason they have him on is because he has dentures, and they always make part of the joke or have him take out his dentures for some reason. That old uh, guy? That old guy, yeah. And he, there's this one <laughs> where... You're talking about Ryan... Uh, you talking about Richard Dunn? No, no, no. Uh, no. Oh, okay. oh there's no. This, there's this other like older guy. Rest in peace. Oh, yeah, he died. I forgot that sucks. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, this guy... This guy, like... This one thing, it was like a, it was a Cinco, it was basically like a food tube, and what you do is you're at a restaurant, and you have this, like, what looks like the size of a shop vac <laughs> underneath your table, uh-huh. and you basically, you drill, you, you cut a hole out of the table, and then put a tube through it, and the tube goes, the, the tube, you basically throw all your food in there, it blends up the the food for you and then you shove a tube like halfway down your throat so you don't so it's sort of like so you don't have to chew but in this case they say okay in order for this thing to work you have to go to a dentist to get all your teeth removed so they can fit the tube in your mouth i, and, I think i saw that on youtube and I, yeah and i didn't know what it was from so it is from Krimbus. yeah i i love that one I still need to but watch I, that. I think another great skit was um it's not Jackie Chan, where the black guy holds that buzzer. Oh god, that's <laughs> right. He, he goes from smiling to not smiling. <laughs> so good. I don't know. I I think I'll I'll put I'll put Paul Red's computer just as a placeholder. But I know there's something I like more. Did you like Bub Bub's bounce? <laughs> yes, I did like Bub Bub's bounce. <laughs> I'm going to put a- links to all of these videos in the description. Cool. Awesome. Um, unless um, unless uh, Matt puts all... them right, embed them right into the video. You we want me to? You... Yes. Uh, if, you, if you want to. I can. We actually, all hope, that's, we actually, all hope that's that pretty... we make your bub bubs bounce. Actually, honestly, it might be easier just to put them in the description because then the link will be right there. But... But then people and, will have no context for them. Oh, that's true, yeah. Well, the context of why we brought them up is because we brought up the best directors of this year. Yeah. And they directed in an amazing movie. <laughs> that's funny you say that, because that's not even the question. The question is, all time, what's your favorite director? Yeah. Not of this oh. year. Oh, yeah. So, Matt, what's yours? For this year? Yeah. I was, I was going to pick uh, Tim and Eric also. Cool. All time? It's easy. John Woo? Nope. Who? Robert Zemeckis. Who oh. did? What did he do? Because I fucking love Back to the Future. Oh, oh God, that's right. He did yeah, that, that is did. pretty awesome. And he also did Who Framed Roger he Rabbit. Do, what yeah. the fuck, really? Yeah, yeah. you didn't know that? No. Oh, that's that, dude, that, is... that movie dude, he is he owns game... my childhood. Dude, yeah. he owns my goddamn Robert childhood. Z- I watched so many Robert Zemeckis documentaries. He, he had Back to the Future written. And the first time that he pitched it to Steven to help him produce, mm. he didn't even want to jeopardize Steven's career because prior to that, like Robert Zemeckis kind of had like a kind of like a shoddy kind of r- track record. Mm-hmm. So, like, like no one with wa- what? So, um, forgot what he made. Uh, Romancing the Stone. Yeah, that's that was it right there. That didn't do so well. So. Okay. He was kind of like, uh, you know, I don't want to pull Steven Spielberg. But it turned out, like, boom, Roger Rabbit was a hit, and Steven Spielberg at the time made E.T. Both hits, and all these people all of a sudden wanted to work with Robert Zemeckis. But Robert Zemeckis was like, you know what? There's only one guy who truly believed in it, Steven Spielberg. Aww. And then he made, did Forrest Gump. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he did. Robert Zemeckis did Forrest Gump. Mm-hmm. Yes, he directed it. Wow, he he's a he's a talented dude. Okay, he, well, he might be my favorite of all time. <gasps> Fuck Michelle Gondry. <laughs> 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 like as as lucid and fucking as freeform and amazing as Michelle Gondry does his shots. 
Robert Zemeckis is the ultimate story maker. The ultimate fucking goddamn. Goddamn. The ultimate goddamn. Like, yeah. I'm... Fuck. <laughs> oh, I just realized. I, uh, what was it? Didn't he do Beowulf as well? Like that new Beowulf? Yes. Oh, I never saw that. How I heard that it was, was awful. I oh, really? It was awful. Oh, uh, the, um, the CG Beowulf. movie. Yeah. Yeah. In 3D. Was it? Was I it didn't all? See it. Was it all CG in 3D? I think yes. so. Yeah. It was all I love, CG. I, I love how that was Derek's cosplay one year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am Beowulf in 3D. <laughs> I did not know that. That's funny. <laughs> uh, oh man. Oh, you know what? I my my favorite director of all time is Edgar Wright. Oh Ooh. God Ooh. damn it! Uh, you had to say yeah. that, motherfucker. You're very good with that you're one. Good. Cause, cause I I you know I love, I love Har- I... Harvey Birdman. Attorney at Law is one of my favorite shows because of its pace in terms of its humor and. Edgar Wright's pace in terms of his humor is like I the same. I thought you were going to say he directed it. I was about to lose my, my shit right now. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, my mind was going to blow up if that was true. Yeah, no, that, he's a nice he's my guy too. Director. Nice guy. He, uh, oh yeah. Oh, I, that's good. I I tweeted with him one time. And it was really? Like, he responded, and I shit myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, was so, it was something about hot fuzz and deleted scenes and he was like oh yeah some this- i i totally forgot but i totally you forgot. tweeted him yeah, is that t- what you said yeah he, he that's cool me back. i yeah. need to tell you guys about some shit i twitter. i did on twitter i i called michael jordan out on some shit <laughs> <laughs> that's funny but i'll have to tell you i'll have to tell you after the podcast because that's too fucking bad i don't know what's funnier that or the fact that this morning i read an Arnold Schwarzenegger asked me anything all morning. Oh shit! <laughs> what did he do? Nothing. People were just asking him crazy questions. Uh, I remember when Snoop did uh, and asked me anything. Do you? He answered how much weed he smokes. He smokes eighty-seven blunts a day. <laughs> Who the fuck has time for eighty-seven blunts a fucking day? Dude, he, he has. He has the time. To change his name to Snoop Lion. Yeah, he has the time <laughs> to do that. He's, he has the time to go to a diff, a, another country and come back with a different name. Exactly, he doesn't give <laughs> a fuck. He has his own stage in Tech and Tag Tournament too. What? No, oh really? God. Yeah, he really does. he's in the background and he he made the song for it. That's not called that's knock the, him down. That's the craziest yeah. thing. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I've never wow. Dude, this podcast has I, gone to I new know, heights. Dude, I know I've made it in life when I have a stage in Tekken Tag too. <laughs> Did you ever play in Las Vegas Tekken Tag Virtual where your body was in there? And you what? fought What? No. Oh okay, but well, GameWorks is long gone. But there's GameWorks, dude, 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 dude. Do you know what that arena. really was? You know what that really was? There were motion controllers for the PS2. Oh, I know. Oh, okay, I know. <laughs> okay, I know what it was. I know exactly All what right. it was. I'm just saying. Prior to that, the the eye toy was like the closest thing you had, and all you could do with that was basically just. But it was it was really weird, Kelly. Really, everyone I've seen play it, they're flailing around. Try do <laughs> try doing Eddie Goro's moves. I dare you. Yeah, you can't do. <laughs> yeah, oh it's, my goodness! It's stupid. <laughs> you just get you just like sit on your butt and then put your legs in the air and it, start waving <laughs> them around. <laughs> it was the it was the craziest gimmick ever. I would try and fail miserably. Did you really? No. Oh, you're saying you would? I would. Oh, when man. GameWorks was around, I mean, like, I'd I'd kind of go on a, a, I'd go on the Saturday, load up twenty bucks in a little card, and like, I will double gun on a on a machine, and it's so fun. Yeah, I used to do it all the time too. Yeah, it's I think it's the most fun on Time Crisis. Uh, <laughs> I do that on Area Fifty One. My that's my jam. 
I'm trying to find the, the Tekken tag. It's like um, not. Did you ever play Gunblade? Or uh, oh, Machine I Gun LA? I, I played those. Those are so fun. Yeah, I double gunned on those. Oh, do really? you remember? Do you remember how those guns were? Yeah, they were big oh, in the arcade. Square, right? Yeah. They're, they're big, huge. they're huge, and they shake the shit out of them. Yeah. Yeah, I double gunned on those bitches. It was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, God. Um, What's it called? Virtual Tekken Tag? Virtual Tekken Tag? I, no, I'm trying to find that one that was... Uh, so to an- so that, that answered the question, right? Uh, uh, wait, was it was it both favorite director and favorite movie of all time as well? It's a, it had a slash, so I'm saying I'm guessing saying oh. any. But oh. if you want to if you want to add more, Max, go uh, for it. I, I mean, guess... I I love a bunch of movies. My oh, favorite yeah, movie of all time, honestly, my favorite movie of all time is The Network from 1979. Um, I don't know the the main character's actor's name, but I know Faye Dunaway is in it. And the main character in the network, his name was uh, Howard Beale. The pretty much the synopsis of fucking the network is like, there's a news reporter that threatens to kill himself on the air, and since the network is one of the shittiest on the air, they exploit him. Huh. Oh wow. And this was done in 1979, and it was like way ahead of its time. It was really good acting. That's pretty crazy. Uh, what were you gonna say, Max? Um, I was gonna say I like I like uh, Hot Fuzz a lot. Like I'll watch that multiple times. I don't know why it just just works for me personally. Hot Fuzz is fucking a classic, dude. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> my favorite movie just personally uh, is End of Evangelion, just because it just means a lot to me personally. Um, that movie just does so much on That's the, cool on the animation side and story side and just overall kind of, like I didn't watch the series when I was in high school and yeah. then I watched that movie and it freaked me out oh yeah I cried when I was watching it like I was, well I just watched it last this year yeah you yeah. watched it this year yeah honestly watching Ray kill everybody it was just kind of weird to just digest all of it Oh yeah, because oh, yeah, I mean, she. Because I, mean, I, I hadn't seen the series yet. Oh well. Oh okay. Well, like I was watching like bits and clips of shit. I, like I yeah. saw a little bit of Oscar's fucked up past, and you know. yeah, spoilers for Evangelion. Just so everybody I, knows. Oh, who? But, <laughs> but I, I know. Oh, I, I know. But uh, Ray isn't really like Ray is just a shell for. Ray is a clone. Well, no, but but. Really, what Ray is is she's a shell for Lilith, and Lilith's soul after it was released, it managed. Ray to burn. basically became God. Yeah, I mean, she's she was basically the progenitor for all humans. Uh, yeah. At least Lilith is, and then that was just the physical manifestation of her. So, yeah, watching well, it's it was such a trip for me when I saw it too. I just like I was so emotionally overwhelmed when I saw it uh, that, and then I just. <laughs> Digest like constantly digesting that movie over and over again. It just, uh, I was just like, I. So what do you think of two point oh? I love two point oh. It's okay. I, I love one point oh and two point oh, and they're they're different movies. Didn't three point uh, come out recently? It did. Three point oh came out recently in November. I can't wait to see that. That's gonna be cool. Ke- yep. Kelly, do you still have an interest in seeing the movies, the new movies? Yeah, because uh, from what from like what I heard, it they're better than the uh... yeah they're better than the series uh production wise but i like i think me and max appreciate the series because of its uh, because there's so much more personality that was fleshed out in how desperate they became yeah it, it's it's kind of like i mean it's kind of like the difference between watching a movie versus watching a tv show like you're gonna get more detail through watching the tv show but i think the way they executed the new movies they did a really good job yeah don't get me wrong they did a great job but the personality that that drew from the series is what what i'll always love yeah oh man but uh 
Yeah, so that's it. I'm done. <laughs> Duh. I... Go ahead, Matt. Did you want to share more? Uh, no. It's like I could talk about movies forever, to be I real. I love Hot Fuzz. I love Hot Fuzz. I love Shaun of the Dead. Read this love... special edition. <laughs> I, I honestly, looking back on it, I'm not that big on Scott Pilgrim. Yeah? That was, nah. It was fun. It was, fun, it was fun. It was okay. I don't know. I like the comic was funnier. Well, see, that's the thing. I never read the comic at all. I read. I read the comic. I read all of them. And uh, in the comic, uh, Knives and Kim actually make out. You have oh. bias, brah. <laughs> yeah, that. And there's just a. Uh, there's a completely other girlfriend that they never even mentioned in Scott's life, too. That's right, Lisa. Yeah. And she was cool. She was cool. She was. That was a really nice touch of the story, too. It, that, that kind of felt like it needed to be in the movie. Yeah. I, but that's the thing, though. That you can only do... So, I'm surprised yeah, you can't they do got so much. much. Yeah, I'm surprised they did. If Scott Pilgrim... But, once again... But I honestly, like... I felt like it could have been... It could have held out for a sequel. Yeah, or you know what? Better yet, I think Scott Pilgrim should have been a mini series. Honestly, there yeah. are, there are a lot of movies I think would work better out as mini series. It's like Kill Bill. <clears throat> uh, no, I think Kill Bill the way that was executed that was okay. I don't know. Okay. If, uh, maybe if if Tarantino went to redo it as a mini series. Because honestly, I'd love it as a mini series because I would see like, um, each each fight would have its own personality. That's true. Hey, that's true. Actually, you could make it work out like that, and you actually might get more. You can more... even like give us a decent backstory for each fighter. Yeah. I don't know. That's my idea. It's yeah. good. good. No, that, I think it's a fair idea. Yeah. Yeah. How to train your dragon miniseries? Dude, I'm down with that. That's, I. That's already that out, movie. man. What you talking about? Oh, how is that series? I, I I haven't seen it. I saw an episode and I sh- I lost my mind. Why? Was it, was it good? Because everyone who voiced the movie voiced the miniseries. Really? Yeah. Wow. Even um Jay Baruchel. Yep, he's in there. Main America character. Ferrera. That's him. Oh, America what? Ferrera. That? America Ferrera. Yeah. Everyone, everyone, dude. Wow, dude. Christmas Plass, Mr. McLovin himself, he's in there. Even Gerard Butler. Uh, I don't think that. They can get okay. Gerard, Butler. Gerard Butler was the dad. Yeah, I, I, they don't have him. Yeah, I'd love to see him in a fucking series for TV. <laughs> That'd be I, fun. What I've seen of it, it's it's pretty cool. Okay, sounds good. I'll definitely. Yeah, I need to jump on that. Uh, I thought I was gonna hate that movie. By the way, you know what? I still haven't seen an episode of the Aquabat Super Show. It's all on Same. Netflix now. Same. Oh really? I haven't seen it either. So it's on Netflix, dude. I'm gonna jump on that after this. Probably. Ooh. Speaking of which, yeah, uh, do you guys have any last words? No, I'm, no, I'm good. Yeah, we think actually, we said my, la- my last words. Um, well, well, I still haven't. My friends got me God Hand for Christmas. Awesome. And uh, I haven't touched it yet. I I want to wait till my friends to for like I want them to see me play it because I have never played it before. Oh, uh, dude! Can't wait till you and Max talk about it. Yeah, I want to hear what you think. And you got nine nine nine. Yeah. Yeah, me and Kelly got to play that at the same time though. <laughs> so I want I, I need her to like hit me up. There should be just a, a Twitter it. post that says hey. now. And then you okay. Guys yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to every button press. It has to be. You have to. You guys have to be in sync while playing it. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> That'd be crazy. You have any more button presses I'm gonna go through because I'm stupid? <laughs> <laughs> oh it's damn, a... we lost Kelly. Ah Ke- oh, shit. I was gonna say, do we have any more? Do we have any racist last remark? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Kelly's wait. not online. No, she's not. Oh. oh. No. Damn guineas. Oh, God. Um. Damn. Um. Well, wow. imitator. Well, that's our show. Holy well, guacamole. Dude, yeah, like. 
Yeah, I mean, like, thanks for listening, man. Uh, if you want to send us more questions or even call in. Um, oh, yeah, our, we got we got into that one pretty deep. Our Skype podcast channel, uh, our Skype podcast is, uh, it's just sorry, our, yeah, it's VG Bandits. Yeah, you can just, if you want to call us. That. Actually, yeah. VG uh, Bandits, one word. Well, Kelly's been writing the descriptions, and she kicks ass at that, so I'm sure she'll write. Yeah, and also, you know, email uh, email us questions. We'll, we'll be down to answer anything. If you have any crazy I, questions, Matt I personally, I personally, James Cardona, will answer anything as fucking as personal as it fucking gets. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> any truth? We're playing truth or dare, and he will answer any. He, he I will, will answer truth no matter what. And I, and I'll do any dare. <laughs> Any dare. I will, just to be clear, I will kill for Ikea. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He, he, Max, he told me that a couple days ago. That he, that he loves his job so much that he would kill for Ikea. <laughs> like, like, the question was, like, we Goodbye. were talking about that site. All right, bye, guys.